A warm welcome to all you listeners who've just tuned in. You're listening to the sizzling sounds of Lego City Radio. And let me tell you that the forecast for today is hot, hot, hot. There she is, Lego City. It's been two years since I was sent away, but it made me a better cop, a smarter, faster cop. Ah! So what brings you back here, Chase McCain? An old acquaintance. A promise to keep. A debt of honor to be repaid. I meant business or pleasure. I have to fill in your paperwork. Maybe neither. Maybe both. Yeah, I really do have to tick one of the boxes. The skill of an old sea dog, I slide her smoothly into port. <laughs> and what brings you to Lego City, young lady? Uh, this boat? Oh, fiddle pads! Mayor Gleason. Thank you so much for coming back, Chase. I know it can't have been easy for you. I had to get a new passport. I was referring to you leaving under a cloud, but okay. I'll get straight to the point. Rex Fury has escaped and is at large in Lego City. What? Is Natalia okay? Natalia's fine. She's still in witness protection. I have to speak to her. I'll get you her number. But if you really want to protect Natalia, find Rex Fury and bring him to justice. Again. Chase, this city is in the grip of a crime wave. Really? Yes, look. Hey! And I'm certain Rex Fury is behind it. You're the only person I trust to stop him, Chase. Get to the station and get me Rex Fury.
Hey! Do you need help with those donuts? No, I'm okay, thanks. I'm Frank Honey, by the way. Chase. Chase McCain. Chase McCain? You're a legend! Is it true that you brought down Rex Fury? Mm, just part of the team. Deputy Dunby made the actual arrest. And I'm not a legend. I'm an ordinary cop. Just like you, honey. Whoa! <laughs> well, maybe not just like you. So, you want to show me around this new station of yours? It would be my honor! I will wait for you inside. Okay. Hello? Natalia. Ch Chase? Yeah, it's me. Are you okay? Charged! What do you think you're doing? You can't call me. I'm in witness protection. <gasps> witness protection? I was worried. Rex is out. I thought he might come after you. I know, but he's not after me. The chief of police himself told me that Rex fled the city. What? The mayor just told me he was still here. What? Should I? Uh, yeah. I just want to make sure you're safe. You're the reason I got into this mess in the first place. Where are you? I'm not telling you that. Natalia, Natalia Smith, Smith to Mercy, Mercy Hearts, Hearts reception, reception, please. Mercy Hearts Hospital? No! Yes, but don't bother coming here, because if Rex could come after me, then I'm not sticking around. <laughs> Rex. Are you sure that's safe, Frank? Of course it's... Uh. Oh. Hey there. This is our main computer. It doesn't usually smoke like this. It got hacked into this morning. Triggered a security alert and locked down the elevator, but it only blew up when Frank tried repairing it. With a hammer. Main computer operational. Security lockdown lifted. Elevator functionality restored. Eh, not bad. I'll try and find out who hacked it. Oh, if you get stuck, I'll help you. I know everything about computers. Computers. Yes, computers. Basement time! Cleaning the stairs. I'm cleaning the stairs. Fine, Madam Mayor. I'll brief the officers on Rex, but I still say he's long gone from here. Meddling fool, making me hire some specialist she's brought in from overseas. Chase McCain? Dunby! You're the new police chief? Ugh. Right. I might not like giving you a job, McCain, but it does mean you have to follow my orders. First one! Get down to the basement and get a uniform on! Are you two old friends? Honey, did you put those essential supplies on my desk? Yes, Chief! I'm going to my office. I'll be giving a briefing on Rex Fury in ten minutes, even though he's probably a million miles away from here by now. Do not disturb me! Wow. Yeah, he does seem in a better mood today. Come on, let's get you a uniform. This is our basement. I'll give you a tour. Chuck's vehicle request desk is in there. When you start, they only let you use one type of car. But if you're good at your job, you'll be able to get loads more. Yeah. How many types do you have, Frank? Well, we should probably move on now. 
the lift up to those rooms is out of action. Chuck says it's for our own safety because a monster lives up there. <laughs> a monster. Yeah. <laughs> Please don't let it eat me. Uh, sure, Frank. What's behind this door? Oh, we'll come back to here. It's special. Come on, let's find you a uniform. We had a delivery this morning, so there should be one somewhere. Oh. When I started, I had to use a hand-me-down from another officer. I looked pretty good in a dress. Check inside those boxes. Why is it that all furniture is self-assembly these days? <laughs> Got your uniform? I'll show you the special place. It's the requisitions desk. This is worse I hope Ellie's in. Class at school. Ellie, you in there? Is that you, Frank County? Give me a minute. This is the requisitions desk and evidence locker. The girl who runs it is called. Ellie Phillips. Hey there! <gasps> oh, I had no idea you were in. You just spoke to me. Hi there. I'm Chase. Yeah, it's the guy you told me about. Chase McCain! Well, it's nice to meet you, Chase McCain. My Uncle Duke told me all about you and that Rick's Fury case a few years back. Oh, yeah? Don't worry. There's a few of us in the station know you did all the real work on it. Phew. <clears throat> this is a police communicator. It does everything your old phone did and a whole lot more, including keeping me up to date with what you're doing. You'll need to connect it to the main computer in the lobby before you can use it. You think you can help Chase do that for me, honey? Uh, uh. Good boy. And I'll give you a call once you're hooked up, Chase. Come on, I'm holding the elevator. This way, Chase. There you are. Go on. Communicator connected. Updating. 1% complete. <sighs> Progress bars. Hey, Frank. Someone needs to wake the chief up. <sighs> I work too hard. Well, I'm not waking him up. He'll fire me again. Eh. I didn't want to get briefed on Rex Fury anyway. You still got the key to his office? It's right here in my hand, isn't it? No. Oh, then I've lost it? 100% complete. I'll help you find it. The sooner he's awake, the sooner I can start doing actual police work. Thanks. I think I lost it upstairs! Hey, Chase, you got the communicator working. Yeah, but now I have to help Frank find a key he lost. No problem. I updated the software on your communicator and enabled its scanner. Its scream will show you stuff you wouldn't be able to see otherwise. Like ghosts. <laughs> I told you, that was your reflection, Frank. Thanks, Ellie. I'll never forget his weird, googly eyes. <laughs> If you're looking for donuts, then you're gonna wake up the chief? Okay. After you're done with that, I've got a hornet's nest that needs whacking with a stick. Oh, <laughs> I wanna do that! I've done it before. 
Although I thought that one was a pinata. Hey, you found it. I'll let you wake him up. I've got some important work to do. Video game time! Woohoo! If you're looking for donuts, then they're in the ch- Come on. You have to give the briefing. Wake up! <laughs> Don't wanna. Okay. Uh, uh, who's that? Uh, oh, uh, I was just resting my eyes and my arms and my legs. Oh, uh, it's you again. Fine. Briefing room! One minute! <laughs> Come on, settle down, people. Hey, Harry. How many coffees have you had? Yeah, I know what you're thinking. Did I have six shots, or only five? Well... Okay, you've had enough. Right. I'm gonna take this from the top. The mayor thinks we should be looking for this man, Rex Fury. He's a giant! Rex somehow escaped from Albatross Island three months ago, although we still have no idea how, but that's not important. What is important is that you catch up... So make a note of that! Now, Rex Fury has been a habitual criminal since he was six years old. Good heavens! At that age, he would have still been in preschool. Elementary, my dear fellow. <laughs> <laughs> we got our break when a secret witness came forward. Well, secret until somebody accidentally gave their identity away! Natalia's testimony enabled us to arrest Rex. He tried getting away, but foolishly chose a lawnmower as his escape vehicle. Pull the lawnmower over! His other mistake was in doubting the ability of the man who finally arrested him! Me! If Rex is behind the crime wave, then he needs to be back behind bars. So... To help catch whoever's behind it, I've had security cameras installed at key locations. The museum, Forrest Blackwell's mansion, and, of course, the banks. What the... <laughs> Briefing's over! Everyone get to the bank! Oh, uh, just one more thing, Chief. You ready to fight some crime, Chase? Remember, even though there's a crime in progress, we still have to drive responsibly. Of course. Last one there has to buy all the Chiefs donuts for a month. <laughs> hey, Chase, I've updated your communicator again and turned on the navigation system. You can use it to find your way around Lego City. I've marked the location of Cherry Tree Bank on it with a police shield. That's perfect. Now just follow the green line and it'll take you straight there. Chase? Yes, honey? I've gone the wrong way. Can we call that bet off, please?
what hit me? Get away with this. The crooks run this town now. Not for much longer. Chase, can you give me an update? Yep, I just arrested the getaway driver. Great work! And good timing, because we just had a report from someone near the Red Cafe. They spotted a clown heading onto its rooftop. Could be one of our bad guys. Either that, or I'm about to ruin some kid's birthday party. I'm on my way. Now, where did I put my police issue whistle? Ooh, one blow of that should get the traffic to stop for me. Can I get your attention? Is anyone here a bank robbing clown? Oh, well, I didn't think it would be that easy. I better check in with Ellie. Ellie, there's no sign of a clown up here. Don't worry. I've just updated your communicator's scanning software. Use it to have a look around from the restaurant's rooftop, and it'll show up anyone nearby who might be a robber. And then? You arrest them? get to making this gray old place a little more pretty. <laughs> oh, that's more like it. Beautiful, even if I do say so myself. <laughs> I certainly came a long way just to water some straight officer. Whoa! Almost got me there, mister. Na 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 na. What you doing down there, eh? <laughs> Can't you jump this high? You're making it. Woohoo! See ya! Hey, Jack! Why do you climb this here beanstalk? Oh, sorry! I busted it!
Come out with your paws up. No! Dang it! Stop! Or I will keep running after you! Quit running after me! I'm an innocent clown! Stop! Or I will keep running after you! Too soon. Right. We can do this the easy way or the hard way. Um, I'll take the easy way. I heard one of the other guys say he was gonna jump on a cargo ship if the robbery went bad. So, do I get a nice sell now? Uh, sure. Wow, that really was the easy way. Where is it? Chase, did you find the robber? Your timing is uncanny. Yep, he's in custody. It looks like one of the other robbers is at the docks. You want to arrest that guy too? Uh, let me just check my calendar. Give me a call once you got him. Ah, oh, great. How am I gonna get in there? Whoa, hey, uh, officer. Can you do me a solid? I need to get that gate open. It would be my pleasure. Great. Follow me. Safety regulations. Hey, thanks, man. It took it right out of my hand. Uh, excuse me. Can you tell me how I get onto that cargo ship? Easy. I just whistle and Larry and the crane will give you a lift. Great. Which I will gladly do once my lunch break is over. Okay. Which will be never, because a lousy seagull stole my sandwich. I'll go and find it for you. You'll know it's my sandwich, as it's approximately the size of a sandwich. If it has cucumber in it, then it is not my sandwich. sausage and jelly in it, then it is my sandwich. Give me that sandwich, you flying rat. It looks a bit gross. My sandwich. <laughs> my sandwich. <laughs> Larry! Give this guy a lift onto the ship! Sure thing, boss!
Gah, the police! Not just any police. I'm on a roll today. In the name of the law, you ain't ever catching me. Have you caught those clowns yet? Yes, Chief. Then go and deal with the roadblock on Auburn Bay Bridge. Those rookies have made a mess of it, and I doubt you can make it any worse. Hey, great work. And it's a good thing we did arrest those bank-robbing clowns. Otherwise, there might have been a media circus. <laughs> a media circus? Because they were dressed as clowns! Like a circus! Circus clowns! Is this thing on? Sorry, police business. I feel a lot better about crashing my car to that wall now. Don't worry. You, left and forward. You, back and right. You, left and right, then left a bit more. You, keep doing what you're doing. I like it. <laughs> you, ma'am, I'm gonna need your car. my life enough for you? You look exactly as I remember you. <laughs> Don't try and sweet talk me. I had to change my identity because of you. I even had to change the color of my hair. You weren't a blonde before? You, what? Ugh. I'm going to my dad's cabin to say goodbye, and then I'm getting out of Lego City. Will I see you again? No! What happened with the roadblock, Chase? Oh, an out-of-control vehicle. Don't worry, I dealt with it. Okay. But I'll need a new car. I just, uh, lost mine. Actually, it wasn't even mine. No problem. Frank loses about two a week. There is a police vehicle calling point near a diner just north of you. It's been out of use a while, though. And so you'd like me to repair it? You catch on quick, Chase. Uh, hi there. Do you know anything about that old vehicle calling point? I can't worry about that. Look at my gas pumps. They're in pieces. 
And no gas pumps means no customers. Although, thanks to our famous pickled egg pie, the opposite is not true. If you fix them, I'll make it worth your while. That's it. I'm ruined, I'll tell you. You did it! The diner is saved! What can I give you? An ice cream? A hot dog? An ice cream hot dog? I have a lot of those going spare. Oh, I know. You can have this super brick. It'll help with building that vehicle calling point. And I think there's another super brick around here somewhere. Chase, there's another crime in progress. Robbers have blockaded themselves on top of the Lego City TV building, and our officers can't get to them. How can I help? You know I can't fly, right? Yeah, but my Uncle Duke's the sheriff of Bluebell National Park, and he's got some of the department's old grapple guns, which are great for climbing buildings. And falling off buildings. Which is why we stopped using them, right? Well, if you don't think you're up to it... Oh, I'm up to it. Great! I'll tell my uncle you're on your way. Uh, sir? I'm Chase. I think Ellie told you I was coming. She certainly did. Nice to meet you, Chase. Duke Huckleberry's a name, and I know all about you. Excuse me for saying so, because I know you made a mistake. But shipping you off sure seemed a bit harsh, especially as you got that witness to come forward in the first place. Yeah, well, I learned from my mistakes. I won't do anything that stupid again. Whoa! 
You okay? Yeah, fine. Do you have a grapple gun with you? Well, I sure do. You're welcome to one of those useless pieces of junk. Darn things didn't help me one little bit with old Bessie. Huh? Striped bass. Great. About yay long? Ooh. What? Nothing. Anyway, uh, I'd better go. I've gotta go arrest some robbers. Sure. Uh, good luck with that grapple gun. These things can be tricky to use. Whoa! Hey, Chase. There is a hitch. Yeah, it did seem to be going surprisingly smoothly. What's the problem? We've got conflicting reports about which building the robbers are in now. The Chief's got officers searching them on foot, but I think you can speed things up. If you can get onto the roof of the burger joint I've marked on your map... Then I can use my scanner to figure out which building they're in, right? Exactly. Good luck, Chase. Your eyes on the road, Chase. I can give you my insurance details later. Where did they come from?
All right, let's see where you guys are hiding. Got them. Time to get those low lives off the high rise. Huh. I should probably steer clear of cheesy one liners. Ellie, I've located the robbers, but I'm going to head up the building next to them instead. That way, I could jump across from its rooftop and have the element of surprise. Or, if I don't make it, a week off work in the infirmary. Enjoy the hospital food, Chase. Thing I don't have vertigo or some other ridiculous phobia. God, it's great! Woohoo! Okay, now I'm feeling slightly nauseous. Furniture looked tacky anyway. to go. I didn't even realize I was a gymnast.
Don't mind me. And that makes two. And there's number three. That just leaves the leader. Stop! I guess he's gonna be a bit harder to catch. I can see what appears to be the leader of the gang of robbers stood on one of the rooftops. He seems to be waving at someone. It'll take more than that to stop me, mister. Ah! Why did I have to open my big yap? Wait! I've just seen a member of the Lego City PD swing into the fray! It looks like this pursuit will end in an arrest. This is Conrad Peters on the scene for Channel K News. Already. Not anymore, you don't. George? George Fartar Bensonbury? Hey! Long time no see, Dave. I just saw you on the TV news. You looked a little pasty. Did you get a lead? Yeah, straight to Albatross Prison. Do you know how I can get there? Ooh, Chief won't like that. He's closed the file on Rex's escape. What if the Chief didn't know? I don't know. I'll go ask him. No, wait. Look, is there a way of getting there without the Chief finding out? Okay, there's one way you can do it. First, you get on the ferry at the jetty behind the police station. And then? You don't tell the chief about it! You... <sighs> Thanks, Frank. I'll see you later. Okay, good luck! And if you speak to Ellie, tell her I said hi! Wait, 
Police business. Someone to arrest. Bluffbeard, Chase McCain. Ah, it's been a long time. I saw you this morning. Ah, it's been six hours. What are you doing here? I decided on a change of career. I'm now captain of the ferry which takes rum coves and no good ne'er-do-wells over to Albatross Prison. Great, the ferry. Where is it? I sunk it. I don't suppose you could build a new one for me, could you? Hey, Ellie, do we have any super bricks out the back of the police station? I need to rebuild the ferry. Has Frank been driving it again? Surprisingly, no. Huh. Okay. Let me just update your scanning software again. Right. You should be able to use your communicator as a data scanner now. It'll show up any super bricks nearby. After I hang up, just tap the data scanner button on your communicator and follow the instructions. Thanks, Ellie. <laughs> I can't help but feel I should be a pirate. I've got a voice after all. Oh, wait. I'm allergic to parrot feathers, aren't I? Reckon I'll be stuck in port for quite some time. <sighs> Maybe I should take in an opera. No, oh, not that one about Penzance, though. So many bad ones. <laughs> I think I'm going to start wearing an eye patch. Can't be taken seriously as a captain in this town without one. Ah, but which eye? Thank you. 
Maybe I should get myself a peg leg. Just to get the tourists in. I don't like that. Old limpy. <laughs> You've saved my hide, and no mistake. Up on board, and we'll set sail for Albatross Prison. Uh, okay. You never know, we might even make it there. It's nice to see they take security so seriously. I guess I'll just let myself in and then track down Groove.
believe I only get a lousy half hour for lunch. <laughs> Policeman, you belong in the law court, not our basketball court. Hey, nice work, man. You be using the language real good. I sure am, do. If that's a basketball court, where's your basketball? A bunch of real mean bullies took it off us. They are not nice. If I get it back for you, will you let me in? We'll see. I ain't promising nothing. Oh, man, that's a double negative. You have let me down. <laughs> you ain't got a chance. Not my day. How's things? You got it. All right, fair's fair. In you go. Hey, are you blue? Mm. I've had better days, Sonny. I'm Chase. <clears throat> I heard you might know about Rex Fury. Rex Fury? That man owes me. For helping him escape? Oh, why would I do that? Rex was my biggest customer until he disappeared, <laughs> owing me for a hot tub. You know how difficult it is to smuggle one of them in? <clears throat> Speaking of which... Careful with Haywood's new car, hmm? Uh, sure, Blue! So how did Rex escape? Well, that's the question on everyone's lips. Except no one's allowed in his cell to find out. Not even the police. That's not right. But we both want to see Rex back in here. So I've got an idea. Get some gear from the cupboard in my cell. Then I'll call you with more information on this. That's a croissant. We aren't allowed phones in here. The phone's inside it. Put your number in. Go! Oh. <laughs> there. Uh, are you free, man? No. No, I am not Freeman. His lawyers might be watching. 
What's the matter, Haywood? You don't like a new car? Car? <laughs> oh. I have no idea why I didn't get that job at the library. Is there any way I can help you, officer? Yeah. I need to check a prisoner's cell for something. He's called Blue? <laughs> Blue? He's been here almost as long as me. Always sees I get some of that cake his mom bakes him. It kind of tastes funny. There you go. I'm off for a nap. Need to stay alert. That's why I have at least four a day. I am really <laughs> should have stayed in school. You get in there? Yeah. Okay. I gotta be quick. There are guards near me. Now, once you've got the equipment, you need to get into the warden's office. What? It's the only way to Rex's cell. Wait. Shh. Yep, that's Blue. He's the one that talks to pastries. Okay, now go. The door's at the right side of the third story, and you better hope the warden's not in there. I'm gonna get you back for this, policeman. You can't keep me in here! Not on a sunny day! It's a good thing these bars are between you and me! Ah, oh, come on! I'm gonna miss my stories on the TV! You can't keep me in here forever! At least it's better than solitary. Let me out of here. I'm innocent. Come on, give a guy a second chance. I ain't a bad person, really. Come on, I'll prove it. Just let me out of here a second.
Chase, this is really important. What is it? So, do you think Ellie likes me or not? Frank! I'm at the prison, remember? Trying to find out how Rex escaped. Oh, sorry. But yeah, yeah I think she does. Sweet! Chase, you in? Yeah. The warden just went through a door on the other side of his office. Hmm. That's his private bathroom. Block the door. The warden has a hidden elevator to Rex's cell block in his office, but he's not gonna let you snoop around for it. Gotcha. Ha! He won't get out of there in a hurry. Hello? Is someone out there? No! I told you! I haven't let anyone look in there. Not even that fool Dunby. I don't want you back here either. No. Of course I didn't call you from a toilet. Gotta go. Who is that? What are you doing? Are you looking in my safe? Don't touch my records. They're alphabetized. idea to this day what those two Italian ladies were singing about. I also don't know why those guys are dancing together. And how did he get that saucepan on his head? Hmm. There is a lot I don't know. Let me out! Let me out! Somebody! Open this door! Ah, the old secret entrance behind a painting. What a classic. This must be Rex's cell. Hey guys, does Rex know you're using his hot tub? I am unbeatable! I'm just... A jukebox in a jail cell? I'm not sure what's more despicable. So, did you manage to get into the warden's private elevator? Yeah. Wow, Rex's cell is nicer than my apartment. Mostly down to me, after the warden made sure he got the biggest room in the prison. Hmm. Well, what'd you expect to find in there, anyhow? I figure he was probably in a hurry when he busted out of here. So he might have left some evidence behind. Good luck catching Rex, Chase. And when you get him, tell him Blue says, hi. That's interesting. A hidden button. Whoa, I'm glad.
glad I wasn't sat on that. Another hidden button. A punch bag and weightlifting equipment? No, oh, great. Because the last thing we want is criminals who are weak and easy to arrest. That's right. It's not just police beats that I'm good at. button. Ah, the old secret entrance behind a painting. What a... Hang on. Didn't I say this already? Whoa! Oh, ah! McCain! Warden Stonewall called me. I won't tell you what he called me, but it wasn't nice. It was a nincompoop. It looks like Rex used this hammer to dig his way out of prison. It came from the Bluebell Mine. Give me that! If there's any deducting to do, I'll do it! Whoa. Hmm... Interesting. It's a hammer. And... where's it from? There's no way to tell. But the Bluebell Mine seems as good a place to start as any. You see, the... There was a theft there a few months ago. I'll get over there right away, Chief. Not so fast, McCain. Sheriff Huckleberry can look into it. Stay away from the mine. That's an order. Hey, Chief, can I get a shot for the Herald? Uh, you sure he didn't use this? Watch the birdie. Hi, Ellie. What do you need? Have you seen Frank around? He's doing a favor for me. Sorry, not heard from him. Uh, well, I've got you. Do you know anything about a theft at Bluebell Mine? Sure do. Uncle Duke took me along with him. Some thugs took a load of equipment. Dumby took us off the case before we could interview the witness, though. Said he sounded like a crank. There was a witness? Yeah. Kooky old guy. Hang on. Clarence Fletcher. Says here his friends call him Stinky. Nice. Thanks, Ellie. Sounds like Stinky might know who Rex's guys are on the outside. Oh, and I'll keep an eye out for Frank. And try taking the train from Cherry Tree Hill Station. You'll get to the mine a lot faster. Oh, my God. 
Stop right there. Mining regulation 4.5 states that no one unauthorized gets into the mine. one over on oh I ship so I'm looking for Clarence Stinky Fletcher. Other end of the main cavern. Whew, you can't miss him. I'll tell you, I sure won't when he retires. Hoo-hoo-wee! <laughs> there he is! Blow the charges! <gasps> With the detonator! <laughs> <laughs> Which one of you lot did that? For the last time, will people stop playing with dynamite? Oh, and you! Get some safety gear on! Uh, aye, aye, sir. You ever find out why those guys who broke in here took the equipment? No idea. Maybe they're starting their own mine. Digging's all it was good for. Should have just taken all the money. Oh, dang damn it! My first day on the job, and I managed to jam this big spinnery. What's it? Make the whole system seize up. Careful in that unstable tunnel. If he'd just been a sharp miner, then he wouldn't be a flat miner now.
easily gonna make my quota this month. I'm gonna spend my bonus on going one of those health spas to get pampered. That building Blackwall was playing looked really nice. I doubt I could have afforded an apartment in it though. <laughs> you ain't kidding. Not on our wages. I get to use dynamite now? This is gonna be a blast. Good. A welcoming party. I think someone wants to stop me from getting to Stinky.
Perfect landing. Hey, you do know there's an elevator, right? No. I need a lot more bricks before I can use that super build. Sorry, mister. I'm about to wake you up. Wow, he is a deep sleeper. faces. I'm sure the foreman was just messing with me when he said this part of the mine was haunted. Yeah. Oh, don't just touch me. Yeah, this is honest toil. Good 
light fuse and stand well back. Breaking rocks and lugging boulders about. When I get home, I should be allowed to put my feet up. Say we've gone six days without an accident. I think we might have a chance of breaking our record. Is that gold? Oh no, that's just that candy wrapper I got. Stop him! Legs, check. Arms, check. Head, check. What do you know? I'm still alive!
More bad guys. I must be getting close to Stinky. an idea, Chase. Maybe don't fall in that terrifying grinder machine. Where's Stinky? Voice recorder. Maybe there's a clue on it. Fletcher's log 3011. I've been. Eh? Who's that? Get him! Yeah! I'll hide his recorder, boss. They've got Stinky, but I might still be able to catch up with them. Long time no see, Kane. Rex Fury! Looking for someone? What's that? Wow. Leave him. There's nothing he can do. My guy says he's found someone to steal us a nice new truck. Courtesy of the Lego City PD. Oh, turn that noise off! Ow, ow. Oh. Did an ice cream truck hit me? It looks that way, but no. You got beat up, Chase. Good thing Dunby sent me up here. Duke, ow. I was looking for a miner, but... Rex got to him first. Try not to speak. Natalia, you came here for me? 
No. He'll be fine. Then why? I was in the area. Her daddy's gone missing. What? Don't worry, Natalia. I'll find him. I'll find him. Without you. I never should have testified against Rex Fury. If Rex has got her daddy, and you're planning on rescuing him, then you're gonna need to learn how to defend yourself. Go see this guy. He knows Kung Fu. <laughs>
Barry Smith, 24-hour plumber and kung fu guru, unblocking pipes and chakras since 1987. Huh. It's worth a try. I need to get that open. I wonder if I could use that. Just a tiny little piece of the day. I need a lot more bricks before I can use that super build. That torch only just burnt long enough for me to get here. Martial arts are way easier than the regular ones. Huh? 
When I get out of here, I'm gonna complain to the manufacturers of these torches. They last like 10 seconds. And I thought Dunby had bad breath. None of these guys look like a berry to me. Maybe there's a bell I have to ring for service. A gong! That's even better than a bell. I'm here to see Be Shh! Have a listen to this. Welcome to Learn Kung Fu While You Sleep. Relax. You are now completely relaxed. <laughs> the end. I know Kung Fu. Show me. And plumbing? you off against a few of my students. Look deep within yourself to find your hidden potential and you will triumph over your enemies. What also helps is throwing them around. Let's see what you can do, Chase. Come on. Not bad. Let's try upping the odds. Whoa. Oh, that's going to come up next. Empty your mind, as you would a radiator before replacing it. That's more like it. You made light work of that, Chase. You might not be so lucky this time. Your movements must flow like water through the copper pipes of your intent. Don't just stand there, do something! Remember, a jump. Oh, All right. <laughs> if a tree falls in a forest and lands on, does it hurt? Yes. A lot. Really, really hurts. I hope you're good at arm wrestling. When fighting, your mind must be relaxed. Relax. Did you leave the oven on? It doesn't matter. It's a little Relax. <gasps> Ooh! He's gonna be walking funny tonight. <laughs> Try throwing them into each other. <gasps> Ouch! <laughs> Even I felt that. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> Your body must be in peak physical condition. Like a boiler which is regularly serviced. Oh, ouch! Ah oh, well, he knew the risks when he joined the dojo. You'll find the guys dressed in brown a bit tougher. Your mind should be as free of doubt as a central heating system is of air bubbles. Oh dear. Oh, bruv, you're ruthless. 
Just one more round to go, Chase. Oh, mate. Ouch. Ooh, that is good to steep. You have done well. Take this belt with you as a sign of your skill. I can't accept this, Barry. Why? Oh, hello. Hey, Chase, are you busy? Does this have something to do with your favor for Ellie? Yes! Funny story. I volunteered to pick up the department's new state-of-the-art police truck for its unveiling at the station this afternoon. And you've been hijacked by some criminals, right? Wow! How did you know? Wait, what number am I thinking of? I'll give you a clue. It's six. The truck, Frank? Oh, yeah. Well, they drove it around for a while, but we've stopped. Any idea where you are? Um, when they were driving, I heard a really loud foghorn, so I think we went past the docks. Docks, uh-huh. Then I remember it feeling like we went over a train track. Train track, okay. And when we stopped, I looked out the window and saw Krabby Cove. You. I'll be right there. Where? Insurance details later. Ow! Hope they're okay. Gonna get in trouble for that. Hey, are you in there, Frank? Yes! Is that you, Chase? Have you come to rescue me? Johnny, go fetch the rest of the gang. Tell Mr. Chen we have company. Oh. I think the robbers are still around, so be quiet! Are you having some kind of fight? You okay out there?
Let's go! If you drive fast, we can still make the grand unveiling! I'll settle for getting out of here alive. And I thought I was unambitious! I hope we get back in time. I don't want to let Ellie down. One of the gang members mentioned someone called Chan. Any idea who that is, Frank? Ah, uh, probably Chan Chuang. He's pretty new to Lego City, but I heard he runs the biggest chop shop in town. I hope they taste nice. The chop shop is where they dismantle stolen vehicles, Frank. Oh, I guess I should cancel that reservation then. I think this Chan's connected to Rex Fury. only without any of the boring safety. I hope they aren't gonna check in the back of here because a lot of stuff has fallen out of the cupboards. Chasing us. This would be a lot of fun. Woohoo! Looks like they've stopped following us. Good driving. Could you pull over on that corner up ahead, please? This is just like that time I put. Do you mind if I drive it from here? I want to show Ellie that I can be trusted. All right. Enjoy getting your photo in the papers, Frank. Ha! I can't wait all day, Marion. I have to reopen the bridge this afternoon. Where is that truck? As if I'm interested in fame and fortune. <gasps> My public! Ah, here it comes, Mayor Gleason. <laughs> right on time. Here I am with our new truck! Good old Frank Honey delivers again! Coming through! Honey! Honey! Out of the way! Sorry, madam! Hi there, Mayor Gleason! Hey, Chief! Dunby! Honey! Waffles! What are we doing? Well, what did you expect to happen with Frank driving it? This is your fault, Marion. Whoa. Chase, give me some good news. Have you found Rex Fury? Well... How could you find him? I mean, the Chief told you to stay off his case. Oh, really? <laughs> That's not true at all. <laughs> it isn't, Chase. No? That's right. I was just about to, to send him undercover in, uh... uh Cheng Chuang's gang? I think he's linked to Rex. Uh, yes! <laughs> hmm. Well, that was broken, I got here. Frank, Ellie, you hiding down here? You betcha. I'm staying as far from Dumby as possible. And I saw a spider. I have no idea how we're gonna get out of this mess. Oh, it's easy. I expect my parents will pay for it. Like usual. Huh? You know they're really rich, right? They own that hotel in Paradise Sands. Oh. It all makes sense now. Anyway, Chase is going undercover. He'll need new clothes. Well, congratulations, Chase. <laughs> Hey, that's quite the 
transformation. I barely recognize you. Yeah. Who's that strange man in the garage? Right. I'm off to figure out how to get into Chan's gang. I hope they've reopened the bridge to the main island. Good luck with that, Chase. That was Chase? Now I've got my undercover uniform, I should get to Chan's scrapyard and find a way to join his gang. on the road, Chase. Yeah, they'll be fine. Sorry. Hey, Chase. Now you're an undercover detective. I've added a new function to your communicator. Is it a voice recorder? So I can do private eye style monologues? No. I was disappointed, but I decided to hear the lady out. It's an audio scanner. You just point it at a window and you can hear what's being said inside the room. You'll need to get to a vantage point to use it, though. It sounded like it might be useful. I thank the nice lady and set off into the night. It's the daytime. Good luck, Chase. <laughs> I should get to somewhere I can listen out for clues. I need to be some. Why am I phoning you? Because you're late for your interview. Where are you? Oh, you're meant to be at Chan's limo place. Get a move on. Can you believe that? That Bucky Butler guy. The one who wants to join the gang? Yeah, he was at the art gallery. Well, they do have an excellent collection of Cubist sculptures. What does Cubist mean? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
Bucky Butler. Why is that name familiar? I busted that guy, like two years ago. If I get him out of the picture, then I could take his place at the job interview and join Chan's gang. Police business. Hey. Sorry. Wow. What do you think of this one? Goodbye, sir. I hope you enjoyed the gallery. Uh, yeah, thanks. I picked... Hey, you. Stop. I know you. You're that cop from years ago. What? Oh, way to tip off your target, Chase. I, uh, just want to talk, uh... Hey! It's gonna need repairing. You. Oh man, why do you keep arresting me? You were going to join Chan's gang. That ain't a criminal offense. Sheesh, I don't like to tell people how to do their own job, but if you're gonna arrest me for anything, it should be for the painting I just stole, you fool. Huh? Oh, sausages. Thanks, Bucky. Okay, I better get to my job interview. 
Sorry, police business. Yowzers! Sorry. the new boy? Yes, sir! Oh, I was promised a thug. You look more respectable than I was hoping. Uh, well then, maybe you should get some glasses, old man. Ha <laughs> That's more like it! Okay, I need you to pick someone up. Oh, are they feeling sad? In a car! Obviously. The person is Forrest Blackwell. The multi-billionaire? That is correct. It won't be easy, though. Mr. Blackwell is constantly hounded by the paparazzi. They will try to follow you, and Mr. Blackwell will not like this. Got it. Not a problem, because I am awesome at driving. Good boy. Go pick him up at Blackwell Tower, and be polite. He's our only customer. Mr. Blackwell, are you still thinking about the scandal? Why won't you let anyone in your tower anymore? Is it true you prefer cats to dogs? Gentlemen, please, give Mr. Blackwell some privacy. He merely wishes to go somewhere mysterious for secretive reasons he doesn't want you to know about. One more question, sir. What? Where are you going? Hey, where are you Forrest going? Blackwell, sir, what? don't leave me. It's my job. Where can I take you, sir? 
Very kind of you to ask, young man. I shall be attending one of the last ever performances of the Perpetual Inbox at the Gillespie Theatre. I trust you have been told of my aversion to the paparazzi. Yes, sir. I'll do my best to shake them off. I appreciate that this may require you to adopt a somewhat, shall we say, unorthodox driving style. It could get a little rough. Oh, do not worry on my account. I have ridden atop ships of the desert. Nothing can compare to the discomfort that inflicts upon one's posterior. Are you a patron of the arts yourself, young man? Well, I like that TV show with the monkey who solves crimes. Ah, a true connoisseur. So, uh, may I ask what the play you're seeing is about? Authority, regulations, bureaucracy, the usual concerns of petty individuals. Sounds like my old job. Ah, to have your plans thwarted by fools. But what can you do? You either ignore it and get on with your life. Or you go mad. <laughs> yes. Mad. Or you could sneak behind their backs and get your own way without them knowing. The third option. Don't tell anyone. But that's the one I favor. Me too. Well, I hope you enjoy the play anyway. Thank you. I suspect it'll be the last chance I get to see one in quite some time. I have rather a long trip coming up. Ow! Whoa! Well, I think I just about survived that journey, driver. There's no need to wait. I shall be getting home by other means. Goodbye! Goodbye, sir. There's never any good news. Only great news. That was admirable driving for Mr. Blackwell. Your complete lack of respect for traffic laws proves that you are an awful person and is to be commended. Thanks. I hate traffic laws. Yes. I sense you may be the sort of individual we are looking for. Have you ever stolen anything? I stole some pens. Ugh. A thousand pens. From a child with a limp. Excellent! Then you are to be offered a promotion. Go to the alleyway to the left of the salvage yard in Pagoda. My employer will be anticipating your arrival there. He will explain the details. Let's go meet Mr. Chan. Oops, sorry. Oh, great. Whiplash! Perfect. I'm here about a promotion. You? You look like a cop. Well, I'm not. See? Ugh. Greetings, driver. You want to make some money? Stop that! I will fire you, prancing fools! <laughs> uh, uh, what do you got in mind? Getaway driving? 
Not so fast. Careful driving? No! <laughs> First, you have to prove yourself. Here is a list of instructions. Follow them, and then report to my salvage yard. And don't get caught like those knuckleheads did! Sure thing, Mr. Chan. Please, call me sir. Why are you still here? Okay, so Chan wants me to recover a car from his rival while they're having a shindig. I guess that makes me a party pooper. Huh, I don't think I've ever pooped a party before. It ain't fair that we have to guard this place. Yeah. You know, we could sneak off to that other party by the hotel pool. Maybe. If they started playing some decent music. <laughs> and serve up some food. Ow! There's meant to be a barbecue here. To serve up burnt food poisoning in a bun without a barbecue. I didn't train for two whole days to be a chef so I could deal with this kind of incompetence. Hey, a barbecue! And it's even clean! I won't have to smother everything in ketchup to disguise the taste this time. Now I just need some stuff to cook on it. Is that, uh, chicken? That's perfect. Could you put it on there for me? I have it. Thanks. 30 seconds and these will be ready to eat. Would you like some chicken tartare? I'll pass. Do I smell food cooking? I think I do. See ya. system blew up. That is the last time I play opera on it. Whoa, you're some kind of electrical whiz. But you're gonna need another record before you can spin the decks. And kablamo! <laughs> oh, uh, that wasn't meant to happen. Cool. 
And now I shall bring her back. Shazam Ablam! A record? Should I have used Shamaza Kazoo? Or maybe Krabakadabra? No, that's for making seafood appear. Oh, well. I'm sure she's somewhere safe. Get up to 11. Uh-oh. I think the rhythm just got me. Secret car washes? Get him! Chase, is it true you're a member of a criminal gang now? Yeah, that's right. I'm working for Chan Chuang. <gasps> I can't believe you do that. I admired you, Chase. <laughs> it's not real, Frank. I'm undercover, remember? So I can find out where Rex is and arrest him? <laughs> yeah, I knew that. <laughs> you don't have to sign that. Good luck in your new job card anymore. Listen, Chan asked me to take a car from one of his rivals. He wasn't exactly a nice guy, but he should probably be compensated by the city. Do you think you can get that cleared by someone in charge? Sure, I can totally do that. I once gave a really important message from the mayor to the mayor. Oh, okay. I'm sending it over now. See you, Frank. Well, it's pretty beat up, but you're still doing better than my usual guy. Oh, by the way, guy... You're fired! I think you've proven your worth. Which is good, because I need you to go to the office at my limo place. The burglar alarm has gone off. 
I would send Feng or Li, but they're tied up at the moment. Which is why I told you not to play with skipping ropes during work hours! What about the old guy who works at your limo company? I had to fire him for being too familiar with me, which I regret, as he's my father. If you find anyone in there, I want you to deal with them. Do you understand? Yeah? Oh, and while you're in there, the people who employ my services value their privacy. So don't look at my records! I wouldn't dream of it. What are they doing in there? One, two... Chan's men were after me. They kind of are. I'm undercover in his game. Why were you in his office? I'm trying to find my dad, Chase. What? Like in a filing cabinet? No, no. I mean that just before he disappeared, he was seen getting into a limousine. One of Chan's? I think so. But the only stuff I found in Chan's office were empty money bags from Papalardo's. Papalardo's? Yeah, the ice cream place with the trucks, you know. Yeah. I remember. So if Chan's working for Vinnie Papalardo's game, is it Vinnie that's working for Rex? Hey! Where are you going? Chan must be keeping my dad somewhere else. Stop! It's too risky! I'll find your dad. It's the least I can do. I am not gonna let you endanger my dad just so you can make up for the past. That's not! Why I want to help you. What did you find in my office, driver? Oh, nothing. I think an animal got in and set the alarm off. Some sort of stubborn mule. Not again. This is why I told you not to store carrots in there, idiot! So don't worry. 
No one knows you're working for Vinnie Papalardo. Excellent. What? You looked at my records! Sorry, I, I couldn't help it. But wow, Vinnie Papalardo is one heck of a criminal. Maybe so, but unlike me, Vinnie Papalardo has quite a temper. What? I am very mild-mannered! You're fired! Also, he doesn't trust anyone. Not since Mo, his right-hand man, got arrested. <laughs> huh. Vinny would probably be really grateful to anyone who could help with that. Oh, yes. You could just steal a prison truck and then pick him up outside the courthouse where he's being sentenced today. Wait a minute. You're not thinking about joining his crew, are you? You're my driver! Not for much longer. If I can get Mo out of jail, that could be my way into Vinny's gang and get me one step closer to Rex. Hey, Chase. What you need? What can you tell me about Vinny Papalardo's right-hand man? Mo DeLuca? He's not actually a criminal. He's just Vinny's cousin. So why is he being sentenced? Uh, let me check. <laughs> wow. 412 unpaid parking violations. Parking tickets? So, I suppose it won't really matter if he doesn't go to jail. What are you up to, Chase? Chan is working for Vinny, and I'm pretty sure Vinny is working for Rex. But to get in with Vinny, I'll need him to trust me. By busting out Mo DeLuca? That doesn't sound very by the book. It's the only lead I've got. Does the department have a prison transport truck I can borrow? Maybe. Try Chuck. He's outside the back of the station. I'll tell him you're coming. Hey there, Officer McCain. I've been expecting you. Great. So do you have a prison transport I can use? I sure do, but I could get into a lot of trouble for lending it out. Then maybe there's something I could... Perfect! You read my mind. Grab that box and follow me. Dump the box down over here. It's a bike I mail ordered. Oh, man, they didn't include the wheels. Think you can find some spares?
That's one. Find another. It ain't a unicycle. That's two. Find another. It, oh, wait. Uh, I'm thinking of tricycles. Well, it looks real nice. I wonder if it's safe to ride. Well, I guess there's only one way I'm gonna find out. You should take it out for a spin. Just once round Cherry Tree Hills and Auburn Dock should do.
is pretty speedy, and it's still in one piece. A deal is a deal. You'll find the prison transport truck in there. <laughs> This ain't the last you've seen of Moda Luca. I can do this sentence standing on my head. Thanks to my circus trains. There's some paperwork. We won't be seeing Mo DeLuca back on the street for at least eight years. Thanks to those parking tickets. Another job done and the final day of my 36-year-long career finished. And all without a single blemish. Hey, Pat. I'm here for Mo DeLuca. <laughs> hey, you okay back there, Mr. DeLuca? I ain't talking to you. Just shut up and take me to Albatross. If you insist. But I don't really work for the prison, so we can go somewhere else if you like. What? Oh, man. I know Vinny come through for me. What's your name, kid? Chase. Don't know you? Don't care. Take me to the usual hideout. Actually, I work for Chan Chuang, but I'm sick of it. I arranged this escape because I want to work for a real criminal. Ha-ha! Shows you got guts, Chase. Cedar Street, that's where the hideout is. Looks like they figured out what I'm up to. This might get bumpy. If it gets me out of an eight-year stretch, you can make it as bumpy as you like. Getaways go. I give this one seven out of ten. That's not bad, kid. I can see why Chan hired you. You're pretty good at driving. This is 
making me all nostalgic for the time Jimmy Squareleg stuffed me in his trunk and drove me over the border. Happy days. I can't believe they were gonna send me down for eight years just because of some parking tickets. We're getting close. So, do you really want to jump ship to Vinny's crew? Yeah. Huh. I might be able to swing something. I mean, you're good with me, kid. But Vinny, he's another case altogether. You're gonna have to do something really special to get in with him. Whatever it takes, Mr. DeLuca. Come around the back and let me out. Thanks. Mo, you escaped. We was just formulating a plan to bust you out of Albatross for Vinny. Too late. This kid beat you to it. Now get rid of that truck. Thanks, Chase. I'll be in touch. Hey, Chase, I think I found your in with my cousin Vinny. That was fast. What is it? My brother-in-law works at the airport. Said they got some shipment of fancy high-tech gizmos in from a security company out east. I know for a fact that Vinny would really like to get his hands on them. And how do I get my hands on them in the first place? Ah. Okay. I don't usually like to do jobs myself, but you did me a real solid back at the courthouse. So I'll help you out this once. Meet me in a car park south of the airport. I'll get right over there. I hope Mo doesn't take long. Hey, Chase! I hope I didn't keep you waiting. Not at all. This car is for you. It belongs to my brother, who I don't get on with. So feel free to damage it. Don't worry. With my driving, that's a guarantee. Whoa! And that's the truck you gotta stop. Get in the car! Great! Now floor it! I was long overdue a career change anyway, so thank you very much. You're actually doing me a favor. I was stuck in a rut in that place. I'm gonna pursue my dream of becoming an accountant. 
Is anyone still listening to me? Nice driving, Chase. I think you're gonna be a real asset to the crew. Now get the truck to Vinny's restaurant. He might not know you, but trust me, that shipment will smooth it over nicely. been speaking with the mayor's office, and she says you can do whatever you need to and charge any costs to the department, whatever it takes to catch Rex Fury. Your timing couldn't be better. I just took a delivery truck without permission. Don't worry. I already started a tab for you after Frank told me about the car you took for Chan. Frank actually passed that on? I'm impressed. Well, he was going to try asking Santa, but he checked with me first. I think he's starting to learn from his mistakes. I kind of feel proud of him. Hmm. I'll keep you updated if I have to take anything else, Ellie. Vinny Papalardo ran the biggest gang in Lego City. And now, he wanted to see me. His ice cream parlor was a gathering place for local hoodlums. There was Tony one time. So called because he said everything once. Hey! Polly blindfolds. No, tell him I can't see him today. Lucky Pete. Good to see ya! Whoa! Don't do I found the penny! Ugh. The crayfish twins. <gasps> Sorry, wrong table. And Mikey spoilers. Check it out. When you get to the space center, you can knock down a planet from the ceiling to get a secret item. I'm here to make you laugh? You think I'm funny? Funny how? Uh, 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 I'm sorry, boss. I didn't Get mean to... Get out of here and unload that truck! <laughs> hey, you must be Chase. You come highly recommended. I won't forget what you did for my cousin. Oh, ignore the clothes, kid. It's my boy's birthday. I wanted to give him a nice surprise, you know? I'd been looking forward to getting my hands on the stuff you got me for some time. They're called color guns, and they're of particular benefit to the less than legitimate fraternity. You know, us guys. Now, I need someone to see if these things really work by stealing the Bell Pepper Emerald from the Lego City Bank in downtown. You want to put one through its paces? Well, I've come this far. That's right. And don't worry about how to use it. I'll have a read through these instructions and phone them through to you. Good luck, Chasey.
Ellie, I'll have another thing for the tab soon. I'm about to break into a bank vault. Ugh, which one? The Lego City Bank in downtown. No problem. You need any help getting in? Sure. Okay, right. There's an entrance to the sewer in the gardens opposite the bank. Whoa, wait. Sewer? I can't just walk in the front door? It's a bank fault. The only way in is via a ventilation hatch on top of it. And the only way to that is via the sewer. Did you expect a red carpet? No. <sighs> Fine. Thanks, Ellie. promotion. Police business. Keep your eyes on the road, Chase. to shower for a week after this. Hey, Chase, you in the bank? I'm in a sewer. Wow, did you take a wrong turn? <laughs> I'm kidding. I've been reading the instructions for the color gun. Yeah? Yeah, you're gonna need to fill it from a color swapper. That sounds like an unusual thing to find in a sewer. I agree. I just have this weird feeling there'll be one down there. I hope the Lego City PD gets discounts from a dry cleaner.
really don't want to know how this key ended up in a sewer. But I do want to know how come it fits this lock. What a significant looking red panel that is. Ooh, smells like these pipes are used to carry sprouts. I guess that's a color swapper then. The gun's got some kind of green stuff in it now. Great! Now, if you see any electrical panels which are glowing red, you can shoot them with that thing to turn them on. Ooh, I saw one back there over a gate. You know, I've always wanted to see this bell pepper emerald. They say it's as big as your head. Used to belong to some royal dame, but she sold it, because wearing it as a brooch gave her back trouble. I'll be in touch. Chase, I just read some more. Keep a lookout for a red color swapper. Right, red color swapper. Whoa, this emerald. It's meant to be the most flawless one in the world. Not like those useless lumps of crystal they get out of the Bluebell mine. I mean, they're valuable, but uh, this thing, whoa. Ah. Oh. tries flushing an air mattress down the toilet.
Found that color swapper. Once you fill the color gum with red, you can use it to turn off electrical stuff by shooting any green electrical panels. You know, this is actually kind of like the old days when I used to rob banks myself. Except uh, I ain't the one who's risking his neck this time. I'll read up some more. I can almost taste that big old gemstone. The bell pepper emerald is gonna make me a fortune! You know someone that can handle the sale? No need. We're stealing it to order. I've been doing some work for a private buyer, and he wants it real bad. So don't mess up. The last guy who messed up? Oh, man. That was a real shame. What happened? I couldn't justify employing him anymore. So he's sleeping with the fishes now. What? Yeah, he's a night watchman at the aquarium. I'll be in touch. find the emerald and get out of here before someone catches me. Hey, Chase, I got to the really good part of the manual. You can use the color gun to turn things silver. That kind of defeats the point of me robbing a bank, doesn't it? It's not real silver, but it's close enough to make stuff all shiny and reflective. Useful if there are laser beams around, capiche? Yeah, that might be handy in this place. Great. Just fill it with silver color if you see a swapper, and keep a lookout for the bell pepper emerald. Call me when you get out of the vault. Well, the emerald wasn't in there.
is a jewel. Whoever's in here, you are breaking the law. I think they probably already know that, Phil. I guess I'm not getting out of here undetected then. Just undignified. of a combination. I need a lot more bricks before I can use that super build.
right, a jet-powered snowplow. about to rob this place. Sorry! I meant to have this place on Tuesdays, but the people listen to me? No! And they call this organized crime. Got the emerald. Hey, good work, Chasey boy. I'll send you the location of the drop off, and if I get any of the jobs, I'll give you a call. Thanks, Vinny. There you go, one ridiculously massive emerald. You're welcome. Huh, not bad for my first bank job. Uh, I mean, only bank job. <laughs> Don't get sucked in by the glamour of the lifestyle, Chase. McCain! Chief? So far, you've cost this department an expensive sports car, a prison transport, and a delivery truck full of electronics. Am I missing anything? The bell pepper emerald? Huh? What? That thing's worth hundreds of thousands! You're gonna bankrupt us! Why did you do that? To get in with Vinnie Papalardo's gang. Chan was working for him. You got into Papalardo's gang? We've been trying to pin a crime on him for years! So, you don't need Chan anymore. Okay. I've got a job for you. 
you're gonna get me photographic evidence against Chan's key gang members. Then we're gonna arrest them, and with a bit of luck, one of them will give us something against Chan. I'll need to buy a camera then. You've cost us enough! Just use your communicator's camera. If you can't figure it out, you can call Officer Phillips for help. Hey, Ellie. Chief said you could help me figure out the camera on my communicator. Now I didn't even know it had one. Oh, that's odd. Let me check your device remotely. Ah, uh, there's your problem. You're running old software. I'll update it. There you go. I even stuck on some new ringtones for you. See? Thanks. I need to get some evidence against the key players in Chan's outfit. Easily done. Just get in a good position to observe them and follow the instructions on the camera. It's foolproof. Ellie? All I got were photos of my face instead of the suspects. <laughs> <sighs> but not Frank proof. business. Gonna get in trouble for that. I'd better find out what deals are going down today. If I stake out the noodle bar opposite Chan's scrapyard, I might get lucky and overhear their plans during lunch.
Yes, looks like my hunch was right. Okay, gang. It's that time of the week again. We gotta pay up all these guys we've been having steal cars for us, so listen up. Ping! You're meeting Ray on the balcony of the pharmacy. Lee, Bobby's waiting for you in the alley next to Chance. And Feng, you're gonna take delivery of a rare car from Blake at the limo place. If you understand your jobs, then remain perfectly silent. Excellent. Off you go. You know, We'd make a lot more profit if we just stole cars ourselves. Proof of three crimes in three different locations. How on earth am I gonna get photographic evidence against all of them? Wait, what if I wasn't on Earth? If I get on top of the pagoda in the park, I could see all of those meeting points. Maybe a sandwich. Let's see if Ping's got to the pharmacy yet.
and picture number one is uploaded. Nice. I really got his bad side. Now we can trace that boat theft back to you, Ping. Next up, Lee in the alleyway. Caught in the act, Lee. Naughty boy. I just need a shot of Feng receiving that stolen car, and I'm done. Ah, fuzzy wuzzle. That's Fang, but the car's obscured. I need to get a closer shot. That is definitely the stolen car. Hey, yo! Stop that! Kane! Chief? I'm looking at the pictures you just uploaded. I don't think anyone's gonna pay you to photograph their wedding, but they'll just about do as evidence. That was almost a compliment. Anyway, I've got undercover officers arresting the other gang members you photographed. So if Chan calls you, you know nothing. I don't want anything spooking him until we can get one of his gang members to testify against him. Yes, Chief. Driver! I know nothing! Don't worry, most of my staff are morons. But not you! I like you a lot! Wait, I did that wrong. Can I help you, sir? Yes, I have a job for you. Get to the Crescent Park Wharf. Now! Polite as ever. Ugh. <sighs> 
My studs under my mattress. That getaway driver must have been good to avoid the cops. Hey, good. Hey, what's up? My neighbor had his car stolen. Sorry, police business. Are you there yet? Yeah. This job was meant to be for Feng, but I can't find him. Or Lee, or Fu, or Ping. Maybe they're all getting coffee? Are you saying my coffee is bad? No! Something's up, and the only men I have left are you. And this bunch of dregs! <gasps> so, with all my most trusted employees missing, you're going to have to do the job for me. What is it? I'll give you the details later. No one can know about this. Just take my boat from the wharf and get to Apollo Island. Now!
Ellie, I'm on another job for Chan, and I get the feeling it won't be just a sports car this time. I'm headed to Apollo Island. What on earth could Rex want Chan to get from there? No idea. But this feels like a clue to me, Ellie. A big, fat clue. I'll update you once I know more. Have you got to Apollo Island, driver? Yes, sir. Good. I want you to steal a moon buggy. What? Well, what did you think I sent you to Apollo Island for? Ice cream? Would have been nice. Just get into the Space Center and steal a moon buggy! I should find a disguise so I can get into the Space Center. Maybe I'll even find a spacesuit. <laughs> That'd be so cool. How big it is. Huh. Come out of there. <laughs> oh, I'm out of there. Does she like me? I'm so 
I need to This is too early for me. Huh? How? Sheesh, that is one small step, Foreman. Perfect. While they're all busy working on the shuttle, I can just get to the moon buggy, which is somewhere around there. Uh, in the middle of the shuttle. Ellie, Chen wants me to take a moon buggy. Wow. Yeah. But I can't get to it because it's in the shuttle surrounded by mechanics, and I'm in the control room. Maybe you can do something to get their attention. That's the last thing I want, isn't it? No, because then they'll have to come to the control room, meaning you can sneak into the hangar. Okay. I'll just try pressing some buttons then. What's the worst that can happen? <sighs>
prepping space rocket for engine test, confirming safety measures, and yes, handbrake is applied. scrambled by a teleport kind of tickles. It looks like this track's got a hole in it. Sheesh! Glad my watch doesn't take a battery this size. Now to find some way of getting all those workers out of the hangar. Now 
checking in-flight snacking reserves. Pretzel levels are looking a bit low, but chocolate and candy levels are good. Soda levels at optimum, with five different flavors, including two diet sodas. Final prep, initiating rocket fueling. Rocket fuel level at 1% and rising. Rocket fuel level at 2% and rising. Yep, that might get their attention. I hope that vent up there leads to the hangar. Whoa, power levels have dropped off the scale. All engineering staff return to the control room and check systems. Wonder if my driving license covers space rockets. Ellie, how do I get the moon buggy out of the shuttle? There should be a button you can press to open its delivery bay. And that'd need power to work, right? Yeah. Why? I think I broke the power supply back there. And now the control room is full of people. Right. Hang on. It's okay. There should be some high-powered lasers in the hangar. You can use them to power up the shuttle. Wow. There is literally nothing you can't find with these online encyclopedias. Okay, anything else I should know? The annual rainfall in Lego City? Thanks, Ellie.
Laser one connected. Laser 2, connected. Limited shuttle systems, activated. It's not your car. You are so possessive. Fine, it's our car, but it isn't his. Come on! Chen's men better be waiting for me at the dock! Driver, bad news. My men aren't waiting for you at the dock. Yeah, I can see that. They're running late. And by running late, I mean... Still sat here on their behinds! <gasps> oh, they've actually gone. <gasps> Who am I going to shout at now? 
They'll be here soon, right? I guess so. Just don't let the moon buggy get damaged until they get there. Oh, I'm going out to the street so I can yell at some strangers. See you, driver. and I am done for. Attention, this is security. Everyone return to base. About time, guys. We'll take it from here. Don't follow us. McCain, are you anywhere near downtown? Uh, sure, Chief. Why? We got reports that a gang is trying to abduct Forrest Blackwell. They've got him on top of a building near the downtown science museum. I'm on my way, Chief. Has backup been dispatched? Yes, but by the time they get there, it'll be too late. So hurry up! I really don't want to get on the wrong side of Forrest Blackwell. Details later.
Uh, I need to find a blue color swapper.
Did you see how cool that was? Dave! Dave! Whoa! Look! An awning! If this was an action movie, someone would fall onto that. Whoa! <laughs> Ow! That really smarts. Could my day get any worse? <clears throat> Merciful heavens above! Help at last! Arrest these men! Get him! That's right! You show him what for! That was a good bunch of twos. Ha! He won't soon forget that hiding. Thank you, young man. I thought my fate was sealed. Now while I'm on duty, sir. They may have reinforcements, so we ought to leave here at once. My car should still be nearby. Sorry we're late, Chase. Not that it looks like you needed our help. Young man, I should feel a lot safer at the police station. Would you mind driving me? I'm still rather shaken. Go on. I'll call the chief and tell him you got Mr. Blackwell down safely. We'll stay here and round up the gang members. Thank you. I'm dreadfully sorry. I haven't even asked your name. I'm Chase. Chase McCain. Uh, we've never met before. Chase McCain. Well, what a tiny world we live in. You know, I was only recently talking to an acquaintance of mine about you. About all the effort you went to in arresting Rex Fury. He doesn't think Chief Dunby did that? Oh, no. Some of us have a far clearer view of those events. Unmuddied by spin. Such a pity Rex got out again. Who knows what fiendish things he's up to. Yeah. So, who were those men back there? Environmental activists, no doubt. They don't care for me at all. Why don't they like you? You don't know. I thought everyone did. Simply an unfortunate misunderstanding that I have put completely behind me now. The main thing is, you're safe now. Yes. I must have a word with my security people. Well, this is nice. Lovely day for a drive. You're just taking the scenic route. Terrible traffic today. We're here. Mr. Blackwell, I, I am so relieved you're safe. I can barely sleep. Thank you again, Chase. You sleep during work hours. Well, uh, uh, let me take you inside. Thank you. Farewell, Chase McCain. I'm sure we will meet again. <laughs> oh, that rhyme. Natalia. I... I might, I repeat might, need your help. I couldn't find my dad in any of Chan's other offices. So... 
I decided to try a salvage yard, and now I'm stuck in here. What? I was desperate. It is my dad, Chase. What if Chan catches you? That won't happen. I'm completely hidden. <gasps> hey, whose feet are sticking out from behind my curtains? Help! Natalia? Natalia! Ellie, I need a favor and the Chief cannot know about it. Name it. Natalia's in trouble at Chan's junkyard and I'm gonna need backup to get her out. Natalia Kowalski? What are you up to? It's a long story. Can you help? Sure. I know a couple of officers who don't mind going behind the Chief's back. I'll tell them to meet you outside the salvage yard. And I'll get them to bring a disguise. We don't want Chan recognizing you. Thanks, Ellie. You don't... You don't know how much this means to me. Yeah, they'll be fine. Where's my backup? You're meant to be here by now. <laughs> hey, Chase. Okay, Studsky and Clutch are here. Where's the lady in distress? Clutch, Studsky, thanks for this. Natalia's in Chan's salvage yard. The chief arrested some of his gang earlier, but he's still got a lot of heavies in there. Do you have a disguise for me? Do we ever? <laughs> that is perfect, Studsky. Really? They belong to our friend Huggy. He has no sense of personal space. Let's go rescue this girl. Come on! I'm gonna have to take these things off. Guess the softly, softly approach is out of the question. You ready, Studsky? I was born ready. Ready for what? We've got to get to Natalia as fast as possible. Chan could be doing anything to get information out of her. Like giving her ice cream? What? He's not going to try to bribe her, Studsky. No, I mean I get really bad headaches from ice cream. 
I'd tell you anything if you threatened me with it. Especially mint chocolate. Blech. Right. Or they could make her drink loads of soda pop and she'd get trapped wind because ladies can't burp in public. My mom does that all the time. Your mom ain't no lady. Yeah. Oh, I thought of another one. They could... All right. That really isn't helping. Ooh. Ooh. Who puts a fuel can in a washing machine? No wonder it's in a scrapyard. A couple more cans of fuel and I can start that generator. Look at me, I'm on a roll. That model was a classic. Now that is what I call a compact car. Ooh, I can use it to get up onto that pile of junk. Remember, scrapyards are dangerous places which shouldn't be played in. You hear me? Good luck getting over the grinder! <laughs> That's a subtle arrow. So, is Natalia ticklish? What? Is she ticklish? Once I got tickled so badly by a mugger that I told him the security code for my bank card. You told me he threatened you. Yeah, with more tickling. 
So you're really ticklish, are you? Don't even think about it, Clutch. You already know my security code anyway. You still haven't changed it from your birthday? Uh, yeah, to my twin sisters. Maybe I can use those cars as platforms? Not bad. I'm normally afraid of changing my car's oil. Teleporter built out of scrap? Hmm. If I come out the other end as a fly, I will not be happy. <sighs> oh, good. More bad guys. Well, at least my head isn't on backwards or anything. Sorry, poor choice of words. Are you gonna get me down anytime soon? Have you down in a minute? About time. Oh, sorry. I mean, thanks. I just need to find the button to lower you gently. Ah! Yeah, that wasn't it. Oh, oh. he 
made me eat ice cream. Hold it! Oh. Studsky, let's make ourselves scarce before the chief shows up. See ya, Chase! Thanks, guys. And you've got to keep out of this, Natalia. I'll find your dad. I promise. I don't want to see you get hurt. Okay. Okay. Stay out of trouble. I will. Hey! Starting from now? McCain? Because of your blundering around in Chan's salvage yard, he's disappeared, which is gonna make it somewhat tricky to arrest him. But I had to rescue- I don't wanna hear it! I'm transferring you to Sheriff Huckleberry's department in the forest until we've cleared up this mess. Does he need our help with solving a case? Ha! Doubtful. His district has the lowest amount of crime in all of Lego City, which is why I want you there, so you can't cause trouble. What about the Fury investigation? I've put my most highly decorated officer on the case, my protege. I like to think of him as the son I never had and who looks nothing like me. <laughs> if anyone could get results, it's him! Chase! Hey! Hi, Frank. What did you do to get sent out here, then? Are you sure you're a qualified plumber, honey? Of course! Ah. Honey! Nothing? That's right, deputy. Huh? I got you cornered. Huckleberry's in It's just you and me. Frank, Because I sent your boss front. on a wild you goose chase. Side. After a wild goose! <laughs> Say. Prayers? 
Oh, sorry. <laughs> hey there, Chase. We're just finishing rehearsing our play. <laughs> okay. You gotta do something to fill your days around here. Nothing exciting ever happens. I, uh, the front door was locked? Calm down, Derek. Don't worry, you two. Your chief warned me you were coming, and I've drawn up a work roster. Frank, you'll be in charge of making sure we do not run out of coffee. You can trust me, Sheriff Huckleberry. And Chase. I broke the coffee machine. Language! Well then, both of you will be rounding up Farmer Hayes' escaped pigs. His farm's to the south of here. I'd go myself, but it's curtains up tonight, and I still don't know all my lines. We're on it. Come on, Chase! Let's go see the nanimals! It's not a petting zoo, Frank. Right. The sooner we find those animals, the sooner I can get back to finding Rex. Hey! Look! Horses! Do we get to use them? I guess. Can you ride a horse? It depends. Are these ones stick shift or automatic? Maybe you should just walk. See you later! Chase! My horse is stuck in reverse! And it doesn't have a head! And it has a really weird looking butt! You're sat facing backwards, Frank. Oh! That'd explain why he didn't like it when I fed him that apple! Thanks, Chase! See you at the farm! Sir. Huh, at last! You have to find my pigs. And this is why I became a policeman. They're mountain pigs. Incredibly rare. I'm going out of my mind with worry. Going. <laughs> have no fear. This is Chase McCain. If anyone's qualified to find your pigs, it's him. Thank you, honey. Well, they shouldn't be too hard to find. It's not like they can fly. Oh, well, they're mountain pigs. They could be anywhere. Ah! Oh! Oh! Hi. Uh, I better stay here in case they come back. Fine. I should be looking for Rex Fury. You'll need to look like a farmer, or they'll run off. I got some spare overalls and a hat you can borrow. Great. Thanks. I used to wear them to muck out the pigs. Oh. Then they stinked up so bad. And I, well, buried the key in a field for safety. Right. And now they're haunted. You can use my old tractor to plow up the key if you like. Might need a spot of repairing, though.
Looks like it needs oiling. Only, I can't think where I left the oil cans. I'd need to retrace my footsteps to figure out where that oil is. Hey, Chase. I heard you got sent to my Uncle Duke's place. How's it going? Well, instead of searching for Rhett's fury, I'm searching for a key to some overalls which smell so bad they were locked in a cupboard. And I'm doing that so I can catch some pigs. Oh, <laughs> well, you can probably use your audio scanner to find the pigs. Oh, well, now everything's okay. <laughs> I'll call you later. Thanks for the reminder, Ellie. Ah, these don't smell so bad. Oh, wait, no, it just hit me. I better find these pigs then. So, you were saying you've really seen a UFO? Oh, yeah. I saw this weird, unearthly light, and then I got sucked up into their spacecraft where they did strange things to me. Oh, what kind of things? They probed me. <gasps> you know, I mean, they asked me real searching questions. Huh? Oh. Then they stuck a machine. La, 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 can't hear you. La, 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 I still can't hear you. La, 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 not listening, not listening. La, 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 So 
you really have to get up at five o'clock every morning? Yeah. Even on weekends? Yep. Every single day. Wow! Even Saturday? <sighs> Not so easy to find, are they? Betsy does love getting up to mischief. It's always getting into trouble, aren't you? Silly pig. Oh, and if you're looking for that Frank feller, he went up to the castle. Said he heard a distant oinkin'.
I heard oinking coming from somewhere up high. So either one of the pigs climbed up this castle, or whoever lives here has one of those weird laughs. <laughs> Be really careful climbing that thing. And if you fall off, try to land on something soft. Sure, Frank. I'll aim for your head. <laughs> it's weird how squashy it is. My doctor says I should wear a helmet at all times. You are right, Frank. There's a pig asleep up here. Woohoo! Now, how am I gonna get you back down?
Thank you! How did you do that? I fired him out of a cannon. Ha! <laughs> As if! I'll believe that when I see a pig fly! <gasps> Wait a minute! Hey there, Chasey. You want a job? Sure. As long as it doesn't involve riding animals around. And then I got bad news, because it kind of does. Really? What is it? It's someone I know wants the giant robot Tyrannosaurus Rex stolen from the museum. A Tyrannosaurus? Rex? Who, uh, would want that? My private buyer. But trust me, he's nobody you'd want to meet. He's starting to be a real c I shouldn't say. Just give me a call once you got it out of the museum. Sure thing, Vinny. Ellie, I think I've got a lead on the Fury case. In Bluebell National Park? Uh, no. Vinny called me about a job at the museum. I've got to steal a robotic Tyrannosaurus Rex. Okay. If my uncle calls to find out where you are, I'll square it with him. Thanks. And maybe don't tell the chief just yet? <laughs> sure. Farmer Hayes? Ah, perfect! You ain't seen any of my pigs, have you? The ones I just rounded up? Uh, yeah. I turned my back and they hoofed it again. They'll be all over Lego City by now. If you could just keep an eye out, I would be indebted to you. No hurry or anything. Yes, Mr. Hayes. Great. And if you do find one, just pop them back in the nearest pig cannon, and they'll be fired right back here. Okay. Come from. I'm at the museum, but I don't see a way in. Yeah, I checked the blueprints. The only way in is from the rooftop, but there's no way to climb up there. It's okay. I've got an idea. Are there any taller buildings around here which can be climbed? Maybe the art gallery. Why? I just got hold of a chicken. I can use it to glide from the art gallery's roof to the museum's. Wow, that is not a sentence I thought I'd hear today. Good luck, Chase.
Sorry. Wow. going on.
Don't worry about this job, Chase. Consider a payback for how much the gift shop charged for that dinosaur pen when you were 11. Feathers. Four letters. Hmm. Hmm. Down? No, across. What? I just called Sheriff Huckleberry, and he told me that he hasn't seen you in hours. Where are you? A lead came up, Chief, and I think it points straight to Rex. So, not only have you ignored my orders, you're probably about to take something expensive again. Are you sure this is connected with Fury? Yes. Vinny's asked me to get the museum's robotic Tyrannosaurus Rex for someone. It can't just be a coincidence. That does sound like Fury's style. All right, I'll let you follow this one, McCain. But if it doesn't lead to Fury, then that T-Rex won't be the only extinct thing around here. I almost got ran over in a museum. This is the largest known silver Lego ingot to ever be.
The dinosaur exhibit? Great. The T-Rex is bound to be in there. Hmm. Do I have enough bricks for that super build? I think I might. That certainly isn't a T-Rex. That isn't a T-Rex either. Oh, great. They haven't built the T-Rex exhibit yet. I better find some super bricks. You know, this is exactly how stuff like the Brontosaurus happens.
out there. I'm staying nice and safe in here, thanks. Get in here. This place is impenetrable. Can I smell burning? Hey, I just reinvented the wheel. I've got enough bricks to build that T-Rex now.
I got the T-Rex out of the museum. Do you want me to take it to your private buyer? Nah, he don't want anyone meeting him but me. I'll show you the location of the drop-off. Okay, Vinny. Hey, I know you're eager, Chasey, but this guy's bad news. Tell me about it. Sure. He's real impatient. Like he needs all this stuff yesterday. And his whole business has changed. Time was, you took stuff to make a profit. But this feels different. Like there's something bigger going on. Yeah, listen to me. Going on like my mother. Just drop off that T-Rex. Hey, Chase, are you busy? Well, I'm kind of. Great. Are you getting close to finding my dad? Uh, yeah. I'm on a job for a guy who I'm sure is working for Rex. Once I find Rex, I think I'll find your dad. You really think Rex has my dad? Is it because I testified against him? Rex is the kingpin. He must have something to do with your dad's disappearance. Uh, but I don't think it's because of your testimony. If it was, he'd just grab you, right? That's what I'd do. What? You know, if I was evil. Which I'm not. So what is Rex's connection to my dad? I don't know. But once I do know something, I'll call you. Thanks, Chase. The T-Rex is at the drop-off point, Vinny. That's great! Yeah, just one more job and I can get my payment and wave goodbye to my private buyer. That creep. You're gonna meet him? I don't envy you. He sounds mean. Yeah, some people. They ain't like us, Chasey. They don't have class. Do you need help with this job, then? I don't know. I mean, the other thing he wants is some boat from the fire department. Well, I got guys who can drive it, but, uh... What's the problem? The keys to it are in the fire chief's safe. The only people who can get near to it are firemen. Whoever does the job would have to go undercover. You reckon you could do that? Uh, yeah. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I mean, I've obviously never done that before, but I think I could do it. Then the job's yours. Thanks, Chasey. I won't forget it. Chase, I've got some great news. Oh, hey there, Frank. What is it? I have been promoted! What? Wait, who by? Sheriff Huckleberry. He's made me head of tree-related crime. Ah, uh, are people stealing a lot of trees? Not since I've taken over. So, what you up to? Oh, the usual, actual police work. I'm just going undercover for Vinny as a fireman. Aren't you already undercover? So, now you're undercover, undercover? Whoa! I'm going to get one of the fire department's boats for Vinny. Oh? And once I've taken it to Vinny, he's gonna go see Rex, and I'll follow him. Okay, Chase. As long as you're not stealing any trees. No, Frank. Speak later. Aye, aye! Over and out! I'm gonna get in trouble for that. Yowzers! You here to join the fire department?
Okay, recruit, what is your name? Pete. Peterson, sir. Right, Pete Peterson. Being a fire officer is all about team effort. Team effort! Isn't that right, McGurkey? What? Don't help him. It means knowing what your fellow officer is thinking. What is my favorite flavor of cake, Pete Peterson? Uh, chocolate? Even the new recruit knows! Ah! Well then, Pete Peterson, we'd better start your training. What are you doing, man? I haven't given you any instructions yet. Sorry, I, I got a little excited. Fire extinguishers are not toys. They are not to be played with. Follow me over here. Whee! This is Officer Lopez Delgado. Hola. He'll give you your basic training. I've got to write a talk on the importance of buying the right flavor of birthday cake. All right, Pete, is it? This is wonderful. <laughs> First of all, we'd better get you looking like a fire officer, hadn't we, huh? <laughs> there is a shiny new uniform in the middle garage. If you can get the door open. I guess I just pulled this lever? Yeah, that would have been too easy. Looks like someone forgot to finish painting that garage door. That garage door would look a lot better with a lick of paint. Right as a button. <laughs> okay, we're going to start things out nice and easy. Oh no, look! A raging inferno has erupted. Oh, if only someone could put out the fires with an extinguisher. Gasp! Do you think you could do that for me? Just put them out and we can move on to the next bit of our training. Won't that be exciting? <laughs> I think it will. Yes, that's great! Well done! You will be an asset to us, as there have been an unusual amount of fires of late. Well done! Wait a minute! That door is shut! <gasps> Oh, and an innocent valve handle is trapped behind it. Oh, here, fire axe. Do you think you could somehow use this axe to get through that door? Don't worry, you won't get into trouble. Here's Petey. <laughs> oh, well, aren't you big and strong? Good. Oh, great heavens, look. One of your soon-to-be comrades has accidentally turned their hose pressure up too high. But who could help him? Who might have some kind of valve? Yes, you see where I'm going with this? Some kind of valve to lower the pressure. <laughs> All right, you lasted ages. That's got to be a record. Uh... Muy bien. You made short work of that, didn't you? Let us go to the next area, shall we? What excitement could await us in there? Open the gates! Oh, 
Oh, no! Look! Several of your co-workers are trapped on that building! Am I not the most excellent actor? <laughs> now, tell these other officers which way to carry the trampoline so you can catch your stranded friends. Go left! Wait there! Woohoo! Ha <laughs> ha! Excellent catch! Right a bit? Good work! Hey! hey. Got him! Left! Get oh. ready! Oh, you almost lost one! Go left! Get ready! Yay! Nicely done! Left a bit! Stop! Geronimo! And that is the last one! Well done! Now that they are safely down, we can put out those fires up there. But they are too far and too ferocious for your own extinguisher. But not for these! Yes! They are impressive, are they not? Say hello to my massive friends! Hop on to one of them! Excellent! The water cannon can squirt a lot higher than your extinguisher can. That's half of them! Aren't you, Officer Awesome? And there you go! That wasn't so hard, was it? Oh, quickly! A most urgent situation has arisen! What is it? Oh, you're acting again, aren't you? Yes. Our station mascot, Admiral Pom Pom Moggins III, has become trapped on a ledge! You want me to rescue a cat? Oh, yes! Now you will truly learn what it is to be a fire officer in Lego City. To rescue cats is our highest calling because they're usually on top of buildings. But first, you will need some way to get up to him. Hmm? Build a ladder! Go on! I hope my training's almost finished. I still gotta get to the fireboat. Then, once Vinny's got the boat, I can follow him to Rex. Quickly, hurry! It's almost time for Admiral Pom Pom's nap. Is this why there was a stinky fish in the pocket of my uniform? Yes. Also, in case you get hungry. Yuck. took over from our previous mascot, Commander Claus. And believe me, Commander Claus earned his name. He was quite the contract negotiator.
save him! Okay, well, we're all done here. I'll see you inside for the chief's birthday party. There's lots of food! Wow! They've done this place up really nice. Huh. Maybe if we did the same for Dunby's birthday, he wouldn't be such a grumpy pants. Hey, Chasey, how you settling into your new job? Good, but I'm gonna have to get the fire chief out of his office so I can open the door to the boathouse. I'm sure you won't disappoint me, kid. The last person who disappointed me bought the farm, you know? You mean? Yeah, even after I told him it was a terrible investment. Anyway, don't sweat the fire chief thing. You'll figure it out, kid. Everybody has a weakness. No good. I can't beat it. The heads keep spinning and I can't aim my extinguisher straight. I had the exact same problem, which is kind of worrying, seeing as we're meant to be firefighters. You know, Chief Burns is such a party pooper. Yeah, just because we got him the wrong kind of cake and blew out the candle before him, and opened some of his presents, and congratulated him on his 50th birthday, when he's only 40, and got him a Mother's Day card instead of a birthday one, and got his name wrong on it. I mean, what's wrong with that? He is so touchy. You gotta aim for their mouths, but only when they're facing you. Hey, you did it! Oh, well done, man. That is outstanding. What's going on out there? You people better not be enjoying yourself on my birthday. I better not see anyone smiling down there. Right, I guess I'm done with work for today. I should have brought a book with me. Who would have thought being a firefighter would involve so much paperwork? Not me. There are like a hundred different farms just for rescuing cats. I know. Speaking of which, you have a 37B. It's the one for short-haired tabby cats up an oak tree. Sorry, we're all out. I've got one for a long-haired green-eyed Persian with a foul temper on top of a traffic signal if you like. Nah. You ever snuck in the bro-
time to find this boat and sail it away. Over here! Psst. Over here, Chase! How did you guys get in here? Uh, we swam. He swam. I used the back door because I'm not a simpleton. Oh, man! I just went through basic training to get in here. And it's a good thing you did, because we're stuck on this side of the fence. Uh, yeah. And we can't open that big door to get the boat out of here. Leave it to me. <sighs> like we have a choice. Ah, uh, I like him.
boss said you should get on the water cannon. What do you think that little joystick does? Don't know. Try moving it. Move! It don't do nothing. See? Ah, just leave it alone, man. stuff, JC. No, it was nothing. I want you to know you're my go-to guy now. I really trust you. Aw, thanks, Vinny. And now I can finally get that private buyer off my case. <laughs> Time to arrange a meeting. I'll be in touch afterwards. All I need to do is follow you to Rex Fury. What could go wrong? I told you I'd trust you to find my dad, Chase. Don't you trust me? What? I, I'm kinda... Look, I know you've got cops keeping tabs on me. You do? I mean, what? I haven't arranged anything like that. I have somewhere I need to go, Natalia. Don't pretend, Chase. I'm at the hospital, and I can see them watching me from across the road. What do they look like? Uh... Well, really smartly dressed for cops. They're wearing black suits, and they're standing by an unmarked black van and a limousine. They're not cops, are they? I don't think so. And now they're coming towards the hospital. Chase? Yes? Help! Natalia? Natalia? Really? This again? Yikes. Things really went from bad to worse. Help! Help!
Oh, this must be where the hospital stores all its huge fires.
I'm trying! You ain't kidding! There's no way to climb up there. But I could climb up there. Ellie, I think I'll need another favor soon. What is it this time? Does the department have a safe house anywhere? Some people are after Natalia, so she can't go back to her own place. All the safe houses are booked up, I'm afraid. Chan's guys are in them, selling each other out. But, uh, if she doesn't mind couch surfing, she could stay at my place. Is it safe? I've got a big dog, although the only way he'll help is if the bad guys are allergic to him. Well, it's better than sharing with one of Chan's guys. Thanks again, Ellie. Not a problem. I'll head there now. Do you need backup? No time. I can handle this. Better not get tired halfway up. He must not get to her. Sheesh, mortal peril really brings out her sarcastic side. Hey! Well, okay. I hope this chicken can take both of our weights. Are you saying I weigh a lot? Yes. I'm choosing this exact moment to discuss how much you weigh. Where's the hospital's helicopter? The one day it's not here. Of course, a helicopter. Oh, sure. The hospital's helicopter is always buzzing around the building when I'm carrying files it can blow out of my hands. But as soon as I'm getting pursued by mysterious men, nowhere to be seen.
Keep back. I'll deal with them. Yeah, I think that's for the best. I hope that's all of them. Get in. Really? You can fly a helicopter? Let's find out. Who were those men? No idea. They didn't look like Chan or Vinnie Papalardo's guys. They don't even look like Rex's thugs either. The only time you see them in suits is in court. Are they the people who took my dad, Chase? They could be. But I thought Rex was behind that. What does your dad do? He's a professor. He worked on Apollo Island for years, but he's been on a private research contract for the last few months. Oh? I don't know the details. And he kept his cabin locked up tight because of the precious stones he was working with. What's going on, Chase? I'm not 100% sure. Chan and Vinny were working for Rex. These other guys? Maybe Rex is working for them. I'll find out. But first, I'm taking you to a friend's place. She's called Ellie. You should be safe there. So it looks like I know how to fly a helicopter then. And now I know that you have to switch off their engines after you land. I suppose I owe you an apology. I know you've been trying to protect me. I was just worried about my dad. And I know you didn't mean to reveal my identity during Rex's trial. Oh, right. So why have you been such a pain? Well, I still wasn't happy about it. When I first met you, I trusted you completely. I, I might have even had some feelings. So when you just left like that... Feelings? <laughs> Shut up. So, would you like to see a movie sometime? <laughs> You're actually kind of sweet, Chase. But you're married to your job, and I don't date married men. How about coffee? Just find my dad, Chase. Tea? A tiny cookie? Ice cream? Ice cream. Vinny's meeting with Rex. Please don't have left the restaurant yet. I gotta get to Papalardo's before Vinny leaves to meet Rex.
with that chase. Vinny's been telling me how you're his number one guy now. Don't worry, I ain't jealous. Is he around? He, uh, said something about meeting some private buyer guy? Yeah. To tell you the truth, I'm a little worried. That guy he's meeting, he used to run all the rackets in this city before he got put away. Now he's out, I just hope he ain't trying to cut Vinny out of the equation. You want me to make sure Vinny's okay? Vinny would disown me if he knew I'd sent someone to look after him. Right. So he can't know. All I got was that they were meeting outside in Paradise Sands. Get up somewhere high, and with a bit of luck, you'll be able to see them. Right. Thanks, Mo. No, thank you. Now there's the only dentist visit today. I bet he gives me a lot. So this is Frank's parents' hotel. They must be loaded. Right, I need to get onto the rooftop. Ugh, back in five minutes. I don't have five minutes. I guess I'll have to get up the hard way. If you ain't a gym member, you ain't coming in here. I am a gym member. <laughs> of course you are. I bet you don't even know how to use that fitness equipment. I guess you must be a gym member, even though I don't recognize you and you haven't provided any ID. Hey there, Chase! Are you staying at my folks' hotel? 
No, I'm looking for Vinnie Papalardo and Rex Fury. Well, I can check the guest book. Th that isn't good. Never mind. Have you seen anything suspicious happening from up here? No. Apart from the sinister looking helicopter that flew overhead a few minutes ago and then landed on the building opposite the Herbert Hotel? The Herbert Hotel? Then that's where I'm going. Hey, what's wrong with my parents' hotel? Is this about that guest who ate the chocolate on his pillow and it turned out it was a cockroach? See you, Jace! The guy who took my car and ruined our party. Oh, brother.
I should spend more time in the countryside. gonna meet me to get some food. I'm getting really good at using those catapults. Another catapult. Awesome. Oh. 
I need to get to the back of the roof so I can see where that helicopter landed. That's Rex. Vinny is working for him. I'll never get over there. What are they saying? Another job? We had a deal! A chance to get you all them vehicles. I got you that T Rex. I got you the Bell Pepper Emerald. And that boat. Do you know how much trouble I had someone else go through for that? Well, I've still got more stuff on my shopping list, Vinny. And you are gonna get it for me. I ain't even been paid for the other stuff yet. I have overheads, you know. And them paintings you gave me ain't any good. What do you mean? They're Picassos. Really? They look more like faces. Ah, uh, just get the stuff, Vinny, or I'll have to replace you. Rex Fury makes my blood boil! We do all the jobs, we take all the risks, but he treats us like monkeys and gives us, uh... Peanuts? Chase? What did you hear? Nothing. Except you mentioned Rex Fury. Eh, what does it matter? Yeah, that's the private buyer I've been working for, and he's just pushed me too far. Nobody gets away with treating the papalados like this. We're gonna do a job just for us. What you got in mind? The biggest cheese in Lego City. The Von Stufenberg Cheddar Truckle? Not that kind of cheese. I mean Forrest Blackwell, property magnet, fridge magnet, and king of this city. Forrest Blackwell? I'll tell Mo to take the fire boat and meet you. Get moving. Okay, Vinny. I can't blow my cover yet. Not until I've arrested Rex. He wants me to rob Forrest Blackwell. I guess I better meet up with Mo. I feel sick. Yeah. My legs are tired. This is an emergency. Sorry. 
Police! I need your car. <laughs> Sorry, it's an emergency. This is an emergency. Meet up with Mo. I better finish it tonight. Where is it? Chase. I 
I figured this tunnel would look fancier, seeing as Blackwell's so rich. It ain't finished, is it? Blackwell lost interest in building stuff after the scandal. Oh yeah, what was the deal with that? What? Have you been on holiday for the last few years? <sighs> Not quite. Blackwell was gonna build this massive apartment complex with a mall and everything up in Bluebell National Park. But then someone finds some sort of rare squirrel there, so City Hall stops it. By then, he'd already spent billions building Blackwell Bridge to connect the park to uptown. That must have been embarrassing for him. Oh yeah. He didn't take it kindly. Vowed he'd never build anything again. Right. Now, we gotta be quiet. I'll wait here and keep the engine running. Get up there, get the stuff, and get back down. Okay. Really quiet around here. Maybe Blackwell security guys are on holiday. Or maybe not.
Okay, Chase. Don't take anything too valuable. Just find something shiny that... If I was a secretive billionaire, where would I hide my vault? Oh, right. Chase, some guys came out of nowhere and are after me. I'm trying to lead them away from you. Hurry up! Okay, I'll grab the stuff and get out of here. How does chopsticks go again? Only one more layer protecting the vault. Uh-oh, company. See? Now that's a sensible place to hide a vault. Open sesame! Or just open, if you have a nut allergy. Whoa, that looks like a lot of... Who are you? Uh... <coughs> Intruder escaping! Sentinels pursuing! Perfect. Sentinel two, get after him. Go, go, go! Don't let him escape. Faster. Chase, I'm still trying to shake these guys off. Did you get out? Yeah, 
but I've got company too. Okay, meet me at the south end of Promenade Gardens in downtown. Right. Mo, are you near Promenade Gardens yet? I wish. These bozos had people waiting for me at the docks, so I ain't gonna be there anytime soon. Get to Vinny's. I tried calling him, but he didn't pick up. Not even just to yell at me. That ain't usual, Chase. I'll make sure he's okay.
hope they're okay. It takes some time. I can't believe I only get a loud half hour. What is going on in there? Oh, you guys are making a big mistake. When Rex finds out you did this... Ha ha ha! Who do you think sent us? What? Why did he... I'm sorry. What's that? I can't hear you. Oops. <laughs> I broke the handle. <gasps> I said... Why... Did... <laughs> I gotta get Vinny out of there. to break the latch off to get Vinny out. Sheesh, Vinny. I know Rex has turned on you, but there's no need to go to pieces. Thanks! The 
leader locked himself in the ice cream factory. You can get in through a secret passage in my office. Whew. I want to know why they did this. What? One of those worms has drawn a mustache on my mother's painting. How could they do that? Do you know how much I had to pay the artist to leave her mustache off in the first place? She'll go crazy if she sees this. Someone get this off of me. So dark. Is it nap time? And he really likes ice cream.
That is a pretty unconventional way of locking a door. Hey, how did you get in here? Ah, what does it matter? You can't hurt us! <laughs> if you're after an ice cream, this place is closed for business. Permanently! What you doing down there? Making yourself a Sunday? <laughs> I can still see you in that box, you know. Hey, that's cheating. You two, stop him. Don't just stand there. Stop him. around down there. You guys are useless! Now you're beginning to get on my nerves. What are you up to? This is your last chance. Okay, no more Mr. Nice Guy. Yeah, that's right. I've been being nice up till now. What's he doing? I can't see him. Stop pressing buttons and turning valves. guys do anything right what the uh, ow that hurt oh. hey get me out of this thing or rex or rex ain't here why did he send you guys i ain't telling you nothing it's okay vinny i think i know how to make him talk 
Eat some more. Uh, oh, yeah, that's mm, so delicious. Ow, ow, ow. Great freeze. Here comes the airplane. Mew. No, stop. All right, I'll tell you anything. Where's Rex? I don't know. Honest, I don't. But I know how you can get to him. I'm meant to do some kind of job tonight in the construction yard at Paradise Sands. You could take my place. Y you kind of look like me. Hey, you are the same height. If you're lying... Don't worry, Chase. I'll keep him here. I got a few questions of my own I'd like answered. Yeah, no, no. Whoa, is that the blueberry and pomegranate ice cream? Oh, that stuff is amazing. Mm. Oh, wow. That is going straight to my hips. Can I get some sprinkles? Ellie, you can tell the Chief I'm getting very close to Rex now. Oh, that's really sweet. Frank? Yeah, I'm looking after the evidence locker for Ellie. So, you like Rex, do you? No, I mean that I'm getting close to arresting him. I found out where his gang's going to be tonight. Where's that? Construction yard near Paradise Sands. I know the foreman there, Albert Spindlerooter. He rebuilt my house after I blew up my house when I tried redecorating my house. Did you know you shouldn't rewire bathtubs? Uh, yeah. Anyway, I'm replacing one of Rex's guys on a job there. Tell Ellie for me? Yes, sir! Sorry, police business. This is an emergency.
did they come from? Sorry. Ouch. Sorry, police business. Are you sure you turned the power off? Yeah. The light went red on the fuse box. Oh, by the way, my doctor told me I was colorblind this morning. <laughs> Are you stupid? Somebody, get him to the chopper. I, I mean, hospital. Uh, now who's going to cover his shift? Nope. No uh, way. I've got plans. Nope. No way. How about me? You are plumbing a water main, not saving the world, Damkov. Uh, fine. You need a uniform. You, give him your clothes, your helmet, and your hammer. No, it's okay. I'll find another one. Hey, you'll need to move that barrel. Push it over by that cone and stuff. I gotta figure out who my contact is in this place. Hurry, and get through the door. Don't you have a crowbar? Listen, fix that fuse box. I don't need any more collateral damage. That you, Jimmy? I got a message from Rex. He wants you to get a crane from this place. Gotta go. Well, that was to the point. I can't wait to have a cup of joe. Don't worry about smashing the tray. It's expendable. My back is hurting from carrying around brick ball gang. Have you been lifting from the knees? No, from the construction site.
Oh, oh, that gate needs repairing. Did you not hear it jingle all the way? I keep hitting my hand with my hammer. I'm gonna try something different. Yeah, like when I hit my foot. How's the project going? Well, the first floor is going great. But the second floor, that's another story. That steamroller was fun, but have you got something a bit bigger I can drive? Like a, uh, ooh, crane? <laughs> Trust you with a crane? <laughs> Thanks. Show me that you're a real construction worker. Fix the hoist controls over there. Have you found those parts yet? Find the parts! Quickly, fix the hoist controls. We're behind on this job. I mean, it's already the sixth day. Isn't anyone else doing any work here? Oh, I'm sorry if this seems like a raw deal. Oh, who built that wall there? Idiots! Use explosives to get rid of it! Come on! Come on! Don't you understand a simple command? Oh? No reply? Good! Stop walking, man! Stop! Running, man! Explosives are in the storeroom! Elevator won't work. Fix the fuse box above it. 
Glad I remembered my hard hat today. I can still feel where that prick landed on me. to use an elevator? Put the fire out. Wait a second. Why is the building even on fire? Which stupid set the building on fire? How do I tell them that I don't like coffee? I mean, if I tell them I like Earl Grey tea, will they fire me? I think my cousin was fired from the police force for not liking donuts. That or stealing a computer. Shut off the gas valve! Use your strength! What's the matter? Can't you bash open a door? Come on! There's gotta be a spare around here. Something I can help with? Doubt it. I dropped the key to the gate shed and the guard dog ran off with it. Can't you just take the key back off of it? Oh, yeah, sure. Oh, no, wait. I actually want to keep both my hands.
I wish I hadn't eaten my lunch. Then I might have been able to lure that dog out of his kennel. I don't know why he wants a key when he's buried all those bones around this place. Getting this crane better lead me straight to Rex. You got the key! You just saved my neck, buddy. Go on, use it to get into the gatehouse. Oh, there you are. What? How did you... I'm not Albert. I'm Werner, his twin. Oh, huh. I thought you'd look different. So, you want to drive a crane, eh? Yes. Then you better build it first. No. Oh. Come on, build it. I could use that super build. Those things are awesome. You think you can drive a crane? Get the crane over to that building. Hurry! the crane to pick up the pipes. I could pick them up with my bare hands. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Come on, this is a work play. Put it in the right trench. Don't make mistakes. We can't use an eraser. Other ones. Are you going somewhere? Don't worry. I'll be back. I hope you don't mind if the crane isn't here when you return, because I'm going to use it to pick up Rex with the very long arm of the law. Huh. That one wasn't too bad. You got the crane, Jimmy. Great. Rex will be real happy. Yeah. Let's go drive this to wherever Rex is. <laughs> You're such a kidder, Jimmy. We're using the crane to get something else. I'll open the gate so you can get it out of here. Get out of the crane, Jimmy. Uh, sure. Just give me a second. Hey there. Thanks. I gotta drive it up to the observatory. Stay here and see if anyone follows me. 
I get the feeling someone might try and infiltrate the gang tonight. No. Yeah! Ugh. Grr. Meet me up there in ten minutes! Sure. Sure. <laughs> I am brilliant at disguises. Oh, of all the days to leave my glasses at home! Oh. My contact in Rex's gang wants me to do something up at the observatory first. But you could give Natalia the good news. If Rex has her dad, their base is where he'll be. Well, I'll try, but I just got her answer machine. I think she's sick of me reminding her to walk my dog. I'll call her myself later then. This is an emergency. Rex wants us to steal the telescope out of the observatory. Yeah, Rex does love, um, astrology? Ha! <laughs> it ain't for Rex. It's something for the old man, ain't it? Right. The old man? Well, what are you waiting for? You got a pneumatic drill from that construction place, right? Use that! Then? No, but that's probably because I'm a Pisces. Great! I'll drive the truck around back. I gotta fix the crate. I may have damaged it on the way up here. Keep an eye out for company. And if you see any, deal with them. Practicing, Jimmy? Anyway, I got this hunk of junk all fixed up. We gotta get the observatory's roof open. 
because I doubt that telescope is going to fit through the front door. Fix up that fuse box real good. It's wired into the dome. is get the telescope onto the back of that truck, and we're out of here, man. Go on, get in the crane. Now stick it on the back of the truck, facing backwards. That way you can see any cops following you from a mile away. Nice, okay, now get in the truck. Yeah, okay.
Just arrived. Uh... Excellent. All we need now is the password for the professor's device. I could soften him up. Uh... No need. My men have finally secured the leverage we have been pursuing. <laughs> um... <laughs> <but> a boss! <laughs> Your camera's at the wrong angle again. What? Botherations! <laughs> Technology! And it's making your voice go funny. Ah! I'll call you later. Professor? That must be Professor Kowalski. <laughs> How lucky was I to overhear that, eh? That's the truck the imposter was driving. Uh-oh. I think my cover's blown. He's gotta be here somewhere. Find him! <sighs> that was close. <laughs> I hate you, elevator.
There better not be any massive fan blades this time. Oh good, no fan blades. Just laser cannons. Followed by rotating energy beam things. I bet this shaft just ends in a giant furnace. That must be how they sneak most of the equipment in. Let's give this thing an upgrade. Just pretend it's one of those claw machines from the fun fair. What's going on? Uh oh. Hey! That should stop them sneaking any more equipment in. And I can use this engine to get through the reinforced door over there. Knock, knock. Who's there? Just give up. Coming through!
Ooh, my very own jetpack.
Whoa. All that from one tiny bundle of dynamite. <laughs> cool. And what's behind this door? Professor Kowalski, please, be reasonable. Forrest Blackwell! Forrest Blackwell?! You lied to me! You said my research would benefit society! Oh, it will. Just not this society. 
The society which spurned my gift. The society which made me look like a fool when I offered them paradise. Building your monstrosity in Bluebell National Park would have caused a poisonous fallout. None of the wildlife would have survived. Oh, boo-hoo. Like we don't have enough squirrels. Go on. Do your worst. Professor, I would never hurt you. Dad! Oh, my Natalia! I've seen what they're planning! Don't help them! Off you go, my dear. I trust my intentions are clear. Yes, the password for the device is Forest Black Smell. Ah. Mm. Looks like it works. Thank you. Professor Poe. This silly computer! Will somebody get me a new computer? What about my daughter? What about her? Oh, Natalia. What have I done? Whoa! Uh, room service? Right. I've got to get up to the professor. It's me, Professor. Chase McCain. You're not a professor. You're a police officer. No, that's... My... Never mind. I'm here to rescue you. Ah, wonderful. Press the button on the control panel behind me. Thank you. Goodness me. Chase McCain. The last time I saw you, you were completely ruining my daughter's life. Uh, thank you? Ah, you did her a favor. Secretly, she's much happier being a paramedic than a reporter. But now, we must rescue her from the forest Blackwell's clutches. Yeah. I can't believe Blackwell's a bad guy. He seems so nice. He is a villain. Now quickly, rebuild the last Transformer below. Right. Huh? 
Hurry! Hurry! They have Natalia! Now turn on the power supply to the Transformers! Excellent! And this is how we are going to escape from here! I will disengage the docking clamps! <laughs> We are out! Oh, brilliant flying, pilot man! Oh, my bad. <laughs> uh. to Blackwell's mansion. Natalia is there. Yeah, she could hurt someone. And we need to figure out what Blackwell's up to. What was the research you were doing for him? I was developing a phased polarity exclusion field. Right. Now, obviously, I understand what that is, but how would you describe it to, say, a child? Hmm. Imagine you have a pair of subatomic particles. A younger child than that. Oh. Uh, it's a kind of a magic bubble which nothing can get through. Wow. What's he gonna use that for? I don't know. All I do know is that he wants revenge against Lego City. Then I'd better warn the police department. <laughs> Ellie, I got into the base. It was inside Mount Cashmore. And get this. Forrest Blackwell is an evil mastermind and he's behind this whole thing. Forrest Blackwell? But he's a good guy. He was just on the TV. He was stroking this white cat. Oh, wait, he is evil. What? Why was he on TV? He's holding a press conference outside Blackwell Tower this afternoon. Said he had some news which would change Lego City forever. Everyone's gonna be there. Well, you've gotta stop him. Tell the chief. I will, but, uh, do you have some evidence I can give him? Or donuts? No. But I'm gonna get some. Ooh, I, I would quite like an apple filled donut, please. Evidence! I'm gonna get some evidence. Okay, look, I'll go to Blackwell Tower. Most of the department's gonna be there for the press conference anyway. And I'll keep working on the chief. But call me as soon as you've got something he has to act on. Thanks, and be careful. <laughs> We are close. Blackwell has a private helipad we can make use of.
Think you can open it? There you go. Well, I could have done that. Blackwell's mansion is huge. We should split up. Yes. Good luck, Chase. I hope all the security means Natalia's nearby. A silver statue and a giant letter B. Subtle and classy. like he paid Frank to do his wiring. The playground? That's just weird. What's weirder is I kind of wanted to play on that slide.
I'm outside Blackwell Tower. Looks like most of Lego City's here, too. Woohoo! Party! Put your top back on, honey. You're still on duty. Listen, I still haven't managed to get through to Natalia. Scientist who was refusing to help Blackwell build some kind of shield thing, so Blackwell used Natalia as leverage. Long story short, your dog probably didn't get walked today. Wow. Okay, well, the conference won't be starting for a while. They put up this giant electronic countdown. Well, that's not ominous. Once I find something, I'll call you. Nothing happened. Hmm. Maybe there's another switch.
Did you find Natalia? No, sorry. But it looks like I found Force Blackwell's secret. He's a model-making nerd. He is an evil genius. This is his plan. Look, this is my phase polarity M, my magic bubble. He means to fly to the moon. How? The shuttle on Apollo Island isn't big enough for all his cronies. And you can't exactly hide a giant rocket in Lego City. The countdown! Blackwell Tower! Ellie, you have to get everyone away from Blackwell Tower. Now! Okay, but why? Blackwell Tower is a rocket. When it takes off, it'll fry everything within ten blocks. I'm sending you evidence. Right. Everyone, you need to clear the area! Look, we don't have long, but we may be able to help. How? I'll tell you on the way. Chase, I'm going to Blackwell Tower. I need you to go to my building in Auburn Docks. Okay. What am I doing? I just said, you're going to my building in Auburn Docks. And when I get there? I have working prototypes of the magic bubble machine there. They're in my laboratory. What are you going to do with them? I'm going to invert the polarity of the neutron. Uh, uh, I'm going to tell the mystical pixies that live inside there. I'm not an idiot, Professor. Are you going to use the magic bubble to contain the rocket's exhaust? Yes, exactly. And what if you can't? Uh, then I'm going to get a very good tan. Blackwell Tower, Chase. Have you got to my lab? Not yet. Then drive faster! This is a matter of life and, you know, the other thing. Oh, and your chief has dispatched another officer to help you when you get there. We're going to need more shield generators than I first thought. Hurry up, Chase! You need to get to my lab! Chase, everything depends on you.
Who else would they trust with such an important mission? Literally anyone. <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> Chase, although it was impossible to get into Blackwell Tower, I've managed to hack into their launch computer and slow it down slightly. You don't have long, though. Don't worry, I'm at your laboratory. Good, then drive the shield prototypes here as fast as you can. And drive carefully. Okay, I could definitely do one of those things. with Kowalski. And where are you? Uh, I'm about halfway there, Chief. Not good enough. This thing's getting ready to launch. Find the accelerator and don't take your foot off of it. Chase, you need to get here faster. I cannot stop the countdown. I'm driving as recklessly as I can, Professor. Oh, great. Whiplash. one of the magic bubble machines for you. I should probably have mentioned, they're in self-assembly kit form, so you will need to build them. I'm too busy slowing the countdown. Professor told me to wait here and not touch anything. Oh man, look! It's all in pieces! That happened to me when I bought that painting. But then the guy at the store explained it was actually a jigsaw puzzle. I managed to put it together, but it took ages because the picture was of the color brown. Then I turned it over and someone had painted a load of kittens on the back of it, just like they had on the box it came in!
evacuated all the citizens. I hope you set up those things right, McCain. Me too. There's no way we'll get to a safe distance now, and I don't do well in the heat. I do. Honey, that rocket's flame is going to be burning at 3,000 degrees. That is hot. I better take off my jacket. How long do we have, Professor? Uh, about minus three seconds. I saw that Natalia was on board. What? That was good work, Chase. He is talking to me, right? You've saved a lot of lives today, and uh, I'm a big enough man to admit when I've made a mistake or two, which is still a lot less than you've made. Thanks, Chief. Mayor Gleason, I need a favor. For the man who just stopped Lego City being destroyed? Name it. I still have some people I need to arrest. I'll call Apollo Island right away. I think they've got a shuttle they can land you. Oh, oh, shotgun! Professor Kowalski? Don't worry, I'm going to get Natalia back. Uh, thank you, Chase. Is there anything I can do to help you? Uh, I guess it'd be useful if I knew how to fly a shuttle. Can you give me a crash course so I don't, uh, crash? No need. The engineers at Apollo Island will fly it by remote control. What about Blackwell's one? I'll have to get it back to Lego City. Oh, you can cross that bridge if you come to it. If? Uh, sorry, when. I meant when. This way, sir. We're getting the rocket ready right now.
Chase, I have to warn you that takeoff is extremely uncomfortable. Yeah, I think I can handle it, Professor. I've seen the movies. And launching in 10, 9. <laughs> We do that in case the astronauts change their mind. Hey, what do you know? In space, you can hear them scream. Well done! You are in outer space! Now, to get to the moon will take almost 10 seconds. Oh, okay, you're about the moon now. What? Uh, yeah, it's really close and very small. But don't tell anyone, it's a secret. Now, it's time for your spacewalk. You need to prepare very carefully. I want you to check and recheck your suit before you exit the command module. <laughs> sure thing, Professor. <laughs> That's weird. I don't feel any lighter. I bet it's because of those cookies I ate in the rocket.
Lego City selected as destination. Disengaging shield. Launching in five, four, three. I hope you're strapped in safely. One. Return to that society of blinkered fools. I tried building something truly wonderful for them. A self-contained world which they'd never have to leave. An utopian habitat that catered to their every whim and desire. It was a monument to my genius. You were a great man once, Blackwell. But you go crazy. Crazy? Your monument was nothing more than an apartment block with a shopping mall. Turn us around. Sorry. <laughs> We're locked in. Bring her over here. Chase. That's pretty low of you, Blackwell. Threatening a lady. Oh, no, no, no. I would never hurt a lady. I just want her to watch you get squashed. Hey there, McCain. Thanks so much for getting me this from the museum. <laughs> wow, that has literally come back to bite me. Whoa, that was close. Be careful. We'll need those energy tanks to run my moon base. No, you do, do ya? Just sit there like a lemon, Rex. Get him! Useless, Rex. This way, Kowalski. Where you going, Blackwell? Ha, 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 ha. 
<laughs> and it was an almost drive. Chase, he's... Huh? Command module separation complete. Oh, what? Blackwell, that filthy worm. Self-destructive in now. That didn't hurt as much as I thought it would. Although I imagine hitting the ground will. to be not okay. Are you mad? We're plummeting to our doom. Ladies before gentlemen, get him, boys. Chase! 
Natalia, are you all right? Where are you? I'm coming. What? Hurry up! The other person has been disconnected and will crash into the ground in three minutes. Please hang up and dial again. Natalia! This lever? Okay. What is it? The brakes. Uh-oh. <laughs> Professor Kowalski's on his way. He said the command module will touch down any minute now. And what about the tons of falling debris from the rocket? Don't worry, Chief. I've got you covered. The debris splashed down at sea, Marion. got away in an escape pod, and Rex, well, he got away too, I uh... Rex? <laughs> Rex isn't a problem. Oh? He crashed headfirst through someone's roof ten minutes ago. Get this off of me! <laughs> hey, Rex, you don't look very flushed with success. I, uh... Ah, uh, I thought you should get the arrest this time. You know what? You can have it, Chief. Some things are more important than work. Oh. Yeah, you're talking about video games, right? <laughs> Oh! 